Hey guys, so what you've been waiting for, here is the full playthrough of the Dreamcast game, The Ring Terror's Realm. It's pretty terrible, and I really hope you enjoy, because this was a traumatic experience for me and Charism throughout. I'd also like to shout out our wonderful Patreon supporter, Finn, our brand new Patreon supporter, Finn. Thank you so much for the support, Finn, and welcome to Patreon. Thank you so much. There's a link in the description if you want to pledge to vote on long plays, vote on playthroughs like this, get involved in the community. It would really help us out and keep these special videos coming. Next up after this is going to be Clock Tower on PS1, so I hope you guys look forward to that. And, of course, one more shout out, our producer Alice. She's like a super nomkin, the best nomkin, oh my god, her links are on screen. Make sure you support her, and thanks once again, Finn. We hope you guys enjoy The Ring. Terra's realm. It really is terrible. Hi everyone, welcome back to here. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Quizum. I love you so much. Listen, you don't want to make a fucking standard intro, so I am just flapping in the wind every single time I sit down to record. So at least I am trying to be accommodating and welcoming. You're being very normal. What are we playing today for this long play? I don't know. Why, do you, why don't you read it? Can't, no, why don't you read it? Why don't, you read, why don't it? you read it? You sassy sasser. You a sasquatch? Yes. Now read it. The Ring, Terra's Realm. This is the video game of The Ring on Dreamcast. It was voted for by our patrons. Yes. You should check out our patron <laughs> via the link in the description. Isn't it a bit early to do a plug? No! Because this is gonna happen and it's gonna start looping the stupid fucking cutscene again! <laughs> that shows nothing except how terrible the voice acting is in this game. Like, if you- someone actually was like, yeah, this is a good, like, introduction to our title. Anyway, let's click new game. Holy shit. Hello? Meg? Robert! get the job? Yeah, I'll be working with you starting tomorrow, so I guess I'll be seeing you soon. Really? That's great. So why don't we go out for a celebratory drink? Okay. I'll get ready. Promise? Promise. Bye for now. Well, who the hell does she think she is? She hasn't any idea of how important this project is. But Sadako... Robert, he didn't sound so pleased, even though it's been quite a while since we spoke. He's absolutely Mr. Thickhead, even on my last birthday. Well, today is the day he has to make up for it. What? This is our main protagonist, Meg. <laughs> I know who she is. <laughs> Robert? Yeah, and I think we're just gonna have to do it that way. And that's just a... Hey! Hey, miss! No, I'm sorry, you can't come oh. in here. Okay. You're gonna have to get out of here. Or do you live here? What's happened, officer? What's happened, officer? No, I'm, I'm asking Watch you a question. Do you live here? Hello? Miss? Watch out! Robert? Hello? Hey. Uh. Hey, stop, lady. No! <laughs> no, I can't believe it's Robert! No! You okay, lady? <laughs> Meg, Meg, what's going on over there? Like, hey, ma'am, what's happening here? Now, hold on a moment, sir. I know the two of them. They're friends. What happened? Uh, I don't believe this. I see. Oh, my God. Oh, Meg. Could you explain your relationship <sighs> to either her or the victim? Yeah, I know the two of them. They're both my friends. I'm Jack, and this is Robert's girlfriend, Meg. Oh, I see. Well, I'm what sorry. What happened to Robert? Actually, we don't yet exactly know what happened to him this evening. You don't know? Isn't this a murder? 
Okay. It's unlikely to be a homicide now. case. Not a murder? Then what's that? Did you see his face? What's happened? Oh my god! Well, we'll get to the bottom of this. Oh my god! I'm still alive. I'll work for this company without you, Robert. I shouldn't mourn your death forever. Right. So she now gets a job where he used to work, by the way. What? What? It just jumps forward there. How long has it been? I don't know. <laughs> Hours. <laughs> This okay, music uh, will never stop for the whole game. So we apologize ahead of time. We did look in the uh, sound options, but there was not a sound option to <laughs> there isn't any. the like, I'm speaking woman. Sorry. <laughs> anyway, yeah, we'll lower it in OBS and I'm going to lower it in my headphones. I, I have it almost muted, actually, because it's really annoying. All right. Um, anyway, we are playing as Meg. This is the lab Robert was using. So this is the room, st my room, starting today. It's a weird- Why would they give her a dead boyfriend's room, by the way? Why do you automatically get hired? You get hired for his job, as well! I don't understand. I like how in the cutscene it was like they used asset packs from, like, completely different- the the police did not look anything like the, her or the other guy. It was all over the place. This game is all over the place. Robert. No good comes from me moping around all the time. I have to do my best. How long has it been, though? You're talking like it's been months. Oh, the phone's ringing on the fax machine that everyone has. Hello? Meg, it's Jack. Are you settled in now? Yes, today is my first day. I'm sorry to make you worry so much. That's the British guy, by the way, from before. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about it. I know you're going through tough times, and I'm like this. Wait, what? No, at times what? like this, it's easier to be worried <laughs> about others. Oh yeah, by the way, did you look at Robert's computer? Computer? They left his laptop there! I see his laptop here. Something the matter with it? No, actually, I heard a slightly strange story. A strange story? Yeah, about CDC lab members. Two guys aside from Robert died at the same time in the same way as Robert did. Oh, we work at the CDC, by the way. This is what this is. Okay. Same time and same way. I don't think it's a coincidence. I've never seen anyone die like that. I mean, you didn't really even see anything. No, he went across the street! You're right, but what does this have to do with the computer? Yeah, about the computer. Both of them were found dead in front of their computers. Robert wasn't? Jack. I mean, was he? Yeah, he was. Now, this isn't, a, isn't this a coincidence? No, I have more. Robert and I, both lab workers, running a program called Ring on their computers. Ring? By the way, I'm sorry if I skip the dialogue. I'm not skipping it. It just does it by itself. It's like it comes in waves, so I have to read it really quickly because I can't control the speed of it. I so, mean, it stopped right now. Yeah, yeah, but it stops like every like six lines. It's really, it's like a like a flow. Yeah, ring. The police thought it was suspicious. I'm not controlling this now. You see, they tried to analyze it, but no matter what they did, it wouldn't boot. Oh. The program wouldn't boot. Yeah, apparently. Now it's stopped. Oh, again. I see. It's really weird. That's that's very strange. In any case, I'll check up on the details about it now. But until then, I think it's better if you didn't touch the computer. Then why don't you just say, hey, don't touch the computer? But it doesn't boot, right? Besides, Jack, are you saying that Robert died thanks to a computer program? You know, I'm a scientist. I would understand if it was a virus in CDC, but from a computer? I know, but I have a bad feeling about this. How the face supposed to be? <laughs> You're a worry war, I'll be fine. In any case, I'll call you again when I find something out. Thanks, now I'm taking over Robert's job starting today. That's good, I'm sure Robert's happy about that. No, Is he? Robert's dead. I don't think he's happy. Thanks for everything, Jack. Yeah, I'll call you again. Alright, bye. 
Okay. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> okay then. You know, I will give it this. Yeah. The textures of the face don't look half bad. Like, no, on this, this looks better than most PS1 games, considering it's that the, the The, the cutscenes look absolutely atrocious, but the actual in-game models don't look half Actually, bad, considering. It was the, the Dreamcast was the PS2 era, sorry. I don't know. But it just died out really quickly. Anyway, let's look at the laptop. Like we said we wouldn't. A killer computer program? This is silly, but it makes me wonder. This is Ring? I thought it didn't boot. <gasps> Please enter your name. This seems like a game. Meg. It booted? Then perhaps... The reason why Robert died might be hidden inside this. I'm gonna try. Yeah, that's a smart idea. <laughs> Stupid. Wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Metal Gear Solid. What? I beat up a program called Ring on the computer. Anyway, I should investigate. What? What? Huh? You have a gun! What are you doing? <laughs> it's okay, a brigade member is here to talk to me. What I'm doing? Booting up this computer. What are you saying? Well, in the situation we're in, I can understand you getting confused. This situation making me wear this and all. Where in the world is this? This place is our battlefield against them. Uh, cool. Them? What? What are you saying? Anyway, we have no time for this. One of them has snuck in here. I'll check the first floor. You check the second. Check the second floor? Enough of this already! Is that gun you're holding a fake? Quit yakking and go kill them off. If you're too slow, they'll get us. Kill them? But you're the only one that made me hold this gun. But you're the one that made me hold no, this gun. No, you came... You, I don't understand. She had it in her hand. There's no way I can use it without learning how. I'm appalled that someone would stand here without knowing how to use a gun. Are you with the informatics department? Well, alright, here's a quick rundown. Keep your ears open. It's a tutorial. First try pushing the left trigger. This turns a flashlight off and on. You keep the flashlight on, they'll find you immediately. But if you keep it off, you can't see anything. <laughs> so be careful. Now try pushing the right trigger. <laughs> That's your aim. The gun automatically targets within 45 degrees in front of you. But it only targets where the flashlight shines. Wait, so... Uh, uh, Go ahead. Uh, no, I'll continue. The gun shoots if you push the A button while firing. Try aiming and firing. By the way, she, she moves slightly, so not to shoot him. Yes, that's it. The gun has a laser sight, so it should be easy to tell where you're aiming. Be careful, some weapons don't have sights. Next, equipping weapons. The status screen appears when you push the start button. You can change equipment in the status screen. Bullets will automatically reload, but it takes time. If you load bullets in the status screen, you can prevent time loss during battle. And you can check your health while in the status screen. You know your, bon you know your own body the best. If you have problems, if the top center window is green, and you're in trouble if it's red. Now open the status screen and check yourself. Perfect. So just like Resident Evil, by the way. Mm -hmm. Which they're clearly trying to emulate here. You check right? And last, changing viewpoints. If you push the Y button, it will shift the first person view. Oh god. While you have the Y button down, it's always from your point of view. Change the line of sight with the analog thumbpad. You can look around this way. You return to this view when you let go of the Y button. Try it. Hello, sir. Alright, those are the basic controls. Anything else you need to learn on your own? No, I don't need to go that then. I see. And I want you to go check out the second floor. Be careful. <laughs> so, yeah. Why are we here? I don't what know. I, I've, I've never happened? got... We found healing jelly. Okay. Uh, but yeah, we have to uh, go in upstairs in a second. But first, I'm just going to have a look around for items quickly, okay? Uh, okay. Can we save where we want in this game, or...? No. Oh, okay, of course not. Of course not. 
And we can't save for a while, I don't think. It doesn't open. Oh, the stairs are right here, aren't they? Alright, he's meant to be checking down here, even though he hasn't fucking moved. Unfortunately, we have something to deal with up here, though. So, baby. Let's say, you know the Ring movies, right? You've seen the Ring movie. Well, yeah. at least one of them, right? Yeah. Okay. So, what would you associate with the Ring in terms of enemies? I mean, literally Sadako. Okay. And, and like... Horses getting possessed and running off of a oh, and the American boat version. For I, some actually, it's a good movie. The American one, I will say. Uh, hair, hair is a pretty big one. Uh -huh. Um, but not Bigfoot. N no, not Bigfoot. Okay, no. just is, just is just the, just checking. Is there a Bigfoot here? What is this? There aren't any enemies here. This is stupid. Oh look, it's Bigfoot. That's the enemy. He wants me to kill that. He's reckless. I have to do it, I guess. It literally is big football. Oh. Hello. And it's dead. We did it. Hooray! Yay! Bigfoot. Why been... is there Bigfoot in a game about the ring? Uh, I can tell you before, like, oh, actually, I'm not going to say anything. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to say anything. I don't know, by the way, about the Bigfoot. I, it seems an unusual design decision. I'm assuming there are other enemies later on, but I have never got far enough to determine uh, what the other enemies are yet. But let's go and report that we did well. By the way, it has tank controls, obviously. Mm hmm <laughs> I defeated the enemy upstairs, but now how do I... What? My body! I feel ill. Okay then. Hey, what's wrong? Hey. And the music is back. Okay then. You had a nice nap? Had a nice seizure? Oh, I was passed out? This program, what was that about Ring? It's just a game. Really, Jack should hold off with his jokes once in a while. Jack, shh. I have to give him a piece of my mind. I mean, you don't know it's Jack. Hello? <gasps> Baby! Oh no, spooky dookie. The music's still going. Oh, dead. Yeah, you know, ring is an anagram of dead. <laughs> Seven days. Seven more days. <laughs> to be honest, and... Uh, <laughs> Power outage, a crank call, and a weird program. Sorry. Seven more days? I'm going to die in seven days? You've got to be <laughs> Well, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> this reaction! Anyway, what are you about to say? I vastly prefer the American ring over the Japanese ring. It's a hot take. It is a very hot take because um, I'm pretty sure on the Japanese version, a bit of a spoiler alert if I'm correct, but I'm pretty sure it does turn out to be like a virus sort of thing. It's like a, 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 a psychic virus. Uh, eventually, at the end of it. In, the in the first movie, it's not, but like there's like four ring films. It gets. Dumb. It gets very convoluted. It there's, gets dumb. There's also a Sadako versus Koyako movie where Sadako fights the girl from The Grudge. Mm. I well. I prefer the Japanese version of The Grudge, uh, especially the the original. I think it's the well, original. The original actually isn't Japanese; it's Korean. Well, I was talking about the original. Um... Japanese movie. No, it's like a series of short films that are together in three parts, and you see the point of view between each of them. I think that's Korean, but I'm not sure. I don't know if it's a, the original either. I'm pretty sure it was that one and then the other one, but the, I don't the know. The grudge is very convoluted. It, it's, a very, it's a very long time ago, but I vastly prefer that one because at least it stayed like a curse that just got more complex, like it grew. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, vastly prefer that one. Didn't like the American version. The American version was dumb. I've never seen the American one. 
Uh, American version of the of Shutter was also really bad. Um, I, oh god, that, that one that is that a Japanese. Like, that feels really stabbing. I don't think Shutter is Japanese. I think I think that's Korean, maybe. It's Thai. That's I Thai. Think. Whatever. I, think. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Point is, that Asian horror. As good as the Asian horror, the American version. The is American shit. ring is excellent. You're right. The American Grudge is dumb, and the American ring is really good. But yeah, those of you raised on the American ring, when we say Sadako, we mean Samara. Just yeah. For the record. Anyway, she's taking this very well. <laughs> All right. Okay, so now we've got to save our game for the first time. First of all, we have these, by the way, which are like uh, storage boxes for our inventory. So you can <laughs> drop stuff off here. We have nothing, because everything in the Ring Realm is kept separately. Excuse me, my name is Chris. Are you Meg? Hello, Chris. I'm Meg, Meg Rainman. It's a pleasure to meet you. You don't have to be so formal. My pleasure to meet you. I know it's sudden, but the chief is asking for you. I'll guide you to the chief's office. Is that fine with you? Oh yes, it's fine with me. Hee hee, you're acting so formal. Well then, this way. She just fucks off, by the way, and leaves us to our own devices, I think. Oh no, maybe not. We're gonna see the chief, baby. So numb. Maybe the chief can tell us where the hell to sit. Nice to meet you, chief. I'm Meg Rainman. God, this music's so great. Sorry I was late. I met your services starting today. Oh, thanks for coming. I'm looking forward to your work. I'm sorry we caused you so much trouble with this case. What? What are you saying? We were the ones who were serviced by Robert. It's a shame to end up that way. What? <laughs> what is happening? I don't understand. <laughs> We have to work hard now to make up for our loss of Robert. Yes, I think so too. By the way, about Robert. You heard the three lab members, including him, passed away? Yes, I heard that they all passed away at the exact same time. That's right. For such an accident, there is a high chance that it was a virus. I assume so. This is the CDC, after all. Where viruses run rampant. Yes, okay. this is the best facility against disease for the public. No, for the world. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we are investigating on our own, but cannot figure out the cause of death. However, the executives are fretful. They want to make an explanation ASAP. Fretful. Just now, an evacuation order has been issued. They're shutting this lab down. I don't... They prohibit us from leaving the facilities. We're trapped here, baby. <sighs> We're in quarantine. That doesn't... <laughs> Prohibit us from leaving? That means... Well, you could say we have been quarantined. There would have been, like, a big announcement, it wouldn't have just... I'm sorry about this happening on your first day. It's not the unusual for this facility, though. I'm sorry. <laughs> the evacuation for the whole town is... Rest assured, it will only be two to three days. Okay, evacuation of the entire town? What? <laughs> what is happening? Are we the only ones left in the town? Where are we? I actually don't know where the CDC is. I thought it was Washington. But... Alright, I understand. Fortunately, you're free to roam in the facility. Have a look around the place. Right now, we're checking for virus leakage from the basement. <laughs> so you can only see the second floor. Alright. Then Chris? Yes? This card will be your key and your identification within the facilities. Make sure you don't lose it. I feel like I should have gotten that before I started working. Don't worry about it. Like, I should have gotten that, like, as soon as I entered the door, sort of gone to get it with the security card and got set up. What the actual hell? <laughs> How did I get into this secure building without any sort of identification? <laughs> I don't know. I don't- I don't know. Yes, I will be careful. 
Then, go look around the facility. Yes, excuse me then. Why are you telling me to go look around the facility? <laughs> I like the way they're like bowing like they're in Japan, even though they're not. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna just get- guys, just give me a second, I need to attempt to figure out how to save the game. So just bear with me if you're okay. There we go. We saved. It was a radio, by the way. Yes. So, it was this thing over here, but we were not Looking on the exact centimeter of a hit spot. Oh, we got a phone call. It's the phone. Maybe it's from Jack. Maybe it's Sadaka again. Hello? Meg! I heard that there's a possibility of a virus leak from the CDC. It's a top headline on every news show. It's only a possibility they said it wasn't too uncommon around here, so don't worry. You say it's not uncommon. Okay, the CDC building doesn't literally store viruses, right? No, I think it does. Oh, really? Well, the thing is, I think it contains, like, frozen samples of viruses. But I'm not 100% sure. They make that might like... just be a rumor, but I, I thought that they studied it with those... I mean, that's probably true. But I don't... I'm, I'm sure the building does not go into, like, evacuating the town every couple days or anything no, like that. I, I, they make it sound like they've got a room just full of viruses just, like, floating around. <laughs> anyway, Jack, that ring you mentioned earlier, it was just a game. That program booted? They had no problems, and there could be no way that a computer programmer can kill someone. That is not true. Nothing really happened? Nothing. You worry too much. Although, speaking of something happening, I had a prank call right afterwards. Prank call? Yes, and there was a weird word on the screen. Weird word? It said dead. I think it meant game over. Okay, geez, that's not that's not a weird word, but this is a this is a issue that happens a lot in uh in I don't know if this was developed in Japan. It I is. kind it's, of it's figured a, it's a it. It's a I, game. I figured it is, but it happens a lot in in JRPGs. I've noticed specifically because that's the point of view I'm pulling from. But there'll be like the English dub, for instance, in Shadow Hearts Three, it's like oh yeah, we called this energy malice. It's like Malice, what's that? And it's like, you know what malice is. You know what that is. That is an English word and it's a fairly common one. <laughs> yeah, like I th or, or in Kingdom Hearts, they're like, Heartless? What does that mean? <laughs> I, 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 I also think, especially with this era, like when this came out, like English translation of games wasn't great. Mm -hmm. You know, that's not too funny. Anyway, did you figure anything out? That's right, apparently Robert's body was handed over to the CDC. The CDC? I wonder if it's to find out the cause of death. But now I guess I'll be able to find out directly. Thank you, Jack. Don't go overboard. I'll call you again if I find anything. But that's just assuming I'm going to be in my office all day. I mean, I guess that's not too big of an assumption to make, but... Robert. For now, I should ask the chief. I thought she said chef there, and I was like, what? So at least it hasn't got limited saves, by the way. That is very numb. In any case, they were the ones that Robert's body was handed over to. I know the chief is looking out for me, so I wish he told me about this. Anyway, the first thing now is to go talk to the chief. I mean, it's really none of your business. All right. I mean, it's I, mean I know it is because you're the protagonist of this game, but theoretically speaking, it's not any of your business. We're gonna go and actually explore now. We've got a bunch of other characters to meet and items to find anyway and shit like that. So we're gonna head back to the lobby area. She does run really weird. <laughs> it's the hands. It's like, it's like her feet bend underneath her as well. It's really odd. Well, I mean feet bend. No, mine does. <laughs> Your feet don't flex when they walk? No. The thing with me that's getting me is the arms. They're just like... Ooh, de, 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 de. 
It's like this the scared run mm -hmm. in The Sims 4. The arms. It reminds me of that. <laughs> it's so weird, right? Why are you spinning around in a circle? Okay. We're gonna look around and talk to people in these rooms. Because they're probably nonkins, right? Are they? Oh, don't... it's the boss. Well, oh. we need to talk to him anyway, so fuck it. Do you want anything, Meg? I'm sorry to bother you when you're so busy. I wanted to ask you something about Robert. Okay. About Robert? Did something happen with regards to him? I mean, he did die, John. <laughs> yes. I heard that Robert's body has been handed over to this laboratory. Robert's body? Yes, if that's the case, I want to see him. Meg. I can't- I can understand how you feel, but can you spare us? This is no playground. I have plenty of work other than Robert's case. Yes, I know, but I want to look into it as well. You're not responsible for him, Meg. <laughs> there are many other specialists here at the CDC, not just you. Or can you not trust any of them? No, it's not how I meant it. I'm just regretting what happened to Robert. I couldn't forget what happened. I know it's a personal affair, but I wanted to find out the truth firsthand. The police started rambling nonsense that a program called Ring was suspicious. He's angry. Meg, I don't know what you heard from where, but I'm busy. Ring? A computer program? I've no idea what you're talking about. You're getting in the way of my work. Get out of here and call off your hot head in your lab. I can clearly say that you are not sane. <laughs> I'm sorry for mouthing off like that? Meg, didn't you hear me? Get out this room. Go cool off your head for a while. <laughs> yes, I'm terribly sorry. I apologize for bothering you when you're so busy. What the fuck is going on? This dialogue is amazing! If, I don't know if this is fan translated. I wonder if it's actually even got a release in English. It must have done, because the dub, right? Yeah, yeah. The dub. A terrible dub, but a dub nonetheless. Yeah, an awful dub, but it must have been released in English. Okay, these are all locked. <laughs> that dialogue reminded me of, like, a chick track. It was really weird. <laughs> that was such straight... That was such weird dialogue. I... I holy shit. That's amazing. I like the Dora it's thing like animation. like, evil really. guy... Pretending he's not evil by getting mad that you asked a question. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. What's wrong? You need something. I'm sorry to bother you when you're so busy. I wanted to ask you about something. What is it now? Do you know if Robert's body is stored within this facility? I asked the chief just now, but he wouldn't tell me. I'm sure he wouldn't. Right now, they're busy trying to find the cause. Until I find the virus, it's proprietary information. I see. Is that why I made the chief upset? He's hard to please, but he won't be mad about that. Did he get mad at you? Yes, I tried to ask the same thing, and when I did... Did you say anything you shouldn't have, Meg? Who the fuck are you?! <laughs> Something I shouldn't have? I'm not sure myself. When I asked about a program called Ring, he suddenly blew up at me. I guess he must be tired too. Wait, Ring? Wasn't Robert mentioning Ring as well? Is that true, Professor? Robert mentioned Ring? What did Robert say? I'm sorry, I don't remember too much. Robert didn't want to talk about it either. Anything will do, Professor. Do you remember anything? Even if you say so, I don't. This might be irrelevant, but Robert often asks me about the reference room. Reference room? That's locked. Yeah, the reference room. He wanted to go in for anything and everything he did. He kept pestering us about it. The reference room. From about a week before his death, he stopped asking all of a sudden. Not only do you need the Chief's permission to enter, you need a special key for that room. He laughed when I asked if he found the key. Maybe the key is in his room? A key? I didn't see it in his room. I see. Then what about the locker room? If you want to look for the key, wouldn't it be good to search around his personal items? I'm the one that can't say anything about his body. No, Professor. Thank you for all your help. <laughs> Was I of any use? Yes, plenty. Thank you very much. <laughs> what is happening? This is like an acid <laughs> trip. I don't understand. I do understand, but I don't understand. It's like... It's just strange. It's okay. Don't worry about it. This is exactly what... Hello? What is that? What? Oh, never mind. I want to just check something in this room again, sorry. I just don't want to talk to him. And what do we have here? We found the file! I heard the security guard suddenly died. It's true I haven't seen him around lately. There is one rumor that bothers me the most. One rumor that he died because he saw a strange 8mm film. Oh my god. I found a strange 8mm film in the reference room drawer and after watched it, but it can't be that, was it? Afterwards, I felt bad from a prank call off the screen. 
But you can't kill someone with a movie. I showed Robert's group the 8mm film, but all that resulted was Robert enjoying it for some reason. He likes horror movies, but he sure has weird tastes. I don't know why watching that footage makes him happy. I didn't feel like I was writing this diary, but I felt I had to. It's rather strange. I feel a little at ease now. I guess diaries are good once in a while. What is hap- That was just fucking nonsense. No, I understood it. It was just not the best. So he showed them. He an eight found he some guy found it and cursed at least three other people to fucking die, or yeah. two other people, because three people in total died, I believe. So, and Robert, for some really reason, really liked to see the ring film. You know, to be honest, I never really understood why the ring film, from what we see of it, is so horrific and traumatizing to people. Because it's actually not that scary, the actual film. I mean, the curse is scary, because <laughs> you die, and you probably get really fucked up, but... Oh, sorry. Go wash your hands. Phew! Never. I should wash my hands. Well, do it then! I can't... Okay, that's all she does. Well, okay, we'll count that. But it's so scary. I should stay away from the men's restroom. Washing your hands is scary? No, 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 no. The ring film. Oh. <laughs> the thing we were literally just talking about. Well, you, no, we were just talking about the toilet. And washing our hands. Listen. And not spreading diseases. Coughs and sneezes spread diseases? And or so stoats and weasels. <laughs> Did you think it was stoats and weasels? For a long time, yeah. <laughs> Here's the locker room, anyway. Oh, hi. Oh! Oh, hi, Tina. Thanks for earlier, Miss Chris, I believe it was? Yes, Chris is fine. Thanks for being polite earlier, but didn't I make you all tense? Hee <laughs> hee, but manners are important too. By the way, I haven't introduced your friend there. <laughs> what the fuck? Nice to meet you, I'm Kathy Remick. Pardon me for making you tense with a well-mannered introduction. Oh no, it's that how you're going to do it? Haha, <laughs> it's a joke. Anyway, nice to meet you. He he, thanks. I'm Meg Raymond. It's nice to meet you too. We welcome what little women are here. I'm sure we can be good friends. That reminds me. The lab seems a little lonely today. Is today a holiday? Not at all. It's thanks to the virus friends that the chief was talking about earlier. That's it. Nobody came to the building after 9am. I wish I was one of them. Yeah, we're the ones locked inside. Those who are locked out are lucky. I get it. If they're outside, they can't work. They really are lucky. Well, we can relax a bit as well, so it's alright with me. Well, I'll go look around the facility now. Pleased to meet you. Same here. You should take a look a long look around. I am. Can I just say, Kathy's character world looks like it's imploding on itself. Like, I don't know what it is, but it's like, she looks like she's like got something in her mouth. It's really odd. Listen. Yes? It's fine. Right, the male locker room must be here. Oh god. Oh god. Don't we get in trouble for going in here? Yeah. The locker room. Perhaps Robert's locker has a clue? <laughs> oh jeez. This is for men only. This is not a place for you to come in. Um, I... Hurry up and get out. No need to scream and shout to a lady. Oh, it's Timothy. Oh, Professor. But I don't want her to come in the room whenever she feels like it. Now, now. I'm sure she had some reason to come in here. Yeah, I wonder if my dead boyfriend's locker. Reason? She is Robert's girlfriend. I think it would be alright for her to look through her boyfriend's locker. So you're Robert's... I'm sorry, I was wondering if there was anything left. Lakino, sure you don't mind if I it, mind it for a little bit? If that's the reason, I have no choice. Thank you very much. Okay. I actually didn't get that done. I, got, I went in without talking to Timothy first last time. Uh, and you, he kicks you out, basically, if you, don't ha if you haven't spoken to him. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Then I try I'll show you something in a bit. Hang on. Alright, this is it. 
I found the key to the reference room. Key to reference room taken. You found a very important file. Reference room? I can't find the 8mm film. <laughs> that's it! A key and a note. Reference room, that's all it says. I wonder if it's a key to the reference room. No I guess shit. we should check it out for now. What's up? Are you satisfied now? Yes, thank you. I'm plenty satisfied. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Lucino is such an unusual name, by the way. Eh. Alright, I'm gonna go and save. Seeing as we just did quite a lot of stuff. Yeah. Okay, so I've got to do a bit more running around. Okay. Just gonna check a few of the rooms down here to look for supplies and stuff, okay? Maybe. Maybe it's not okay. Maybe it is. I'm gonna cut a lot of this out, okay? Mm. Oh, hi! Wow. Can I help you? Oh, I'm Meg Raymond. I'm working here effective today. I'm sure I'll be asking for your services. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I'm Peter Jones. I'm mainly doing specialty research concerning the Mobili virus. So which lab is going to be your room? Yes, I'm going to be working in the lab next door. I see. Then nice to meet you, neighbour. No, the pleasure is all mine. Now, if you'll excuse me... Okay. Again, not a scientist, don't know any scientists, but I find it very strange that they would have, like, active labs where people could just, like, walk in. That seems a bit strange to me, if... It is really weird. I don't know, maybe that's normal, but it just seems weird to me, like... You're in a lab, you're working with cultures and junk, and there are people coming and going without any protective gear or anything. Which might not seem like a lot, but I'm pretty sure if, like, someone's having dandruff, and they lean over your, like, petri pet dish, petri dish yeah. it's gonna cause a problem. I don't know, it just seems like it. it yeah, I, I, can see what, I can see what you mean. Oh, this... Which way did I come from? It's so hard to tell. Okay, this you one's are asking card. the wrong person if you want this to know anything card. about direction. Listen, I know that you're a little lost numpkin, but I still love you. I mean, I would hope that you would love me despite my inability to remember time. Space. Space. Anything. I remember some things. Well, what do you remember? I remember Pretzel's booth face. By the way, we did make sure she was going to daycare today, right? Yes. Okay. Oh, I'm sure I went in the men's restroom last time and then got arrested by Lucino. <laughs> but apparently I can't get you to trigger this time. Anyway, we can now go in the reference room, which was locked before. At least I think this is the reference room. It might be the room next to it, I can't remember. No, this is it. It's a library. And we need to find another file, Bebenumkin. Do we do? Yeah, I mean, literally, yes. Do we do? I mean, like I just said, literally, yes. I mean, yes. you're saying literally, but maybe it's not literally. <laughs> It's full of complicated books. I thought you were a fucking scientist! <laughs> She's like, actually, no, I just got this job because my boyfriend died and they felt bad for me. Oh my god. It does feel a bit like that, It come does, on. it does, it does. Like, there's no way that, like, that, I mean, maybe she has credentials, but it doesn't feel like it, <laughs> if I'm honest with you. What in the world was Robert researching in this room? I don't know, I wish there was a clear, obvious place where he was doing something so I could look at it. Instead of having to run around the room pressing X repeatedly <laughs> until something happens. Okay, there's got to be something in this fucking room. We just got, we just risked our life and limb. Oh, hang on, there's a, there's a perspective change here. Nope. All right, I'm just gonna mash X on everything. Okay, this is how you play old school horror games. 
This is a strange lab. This is a strange lab. The curse? Why is this book here? Is that like, you think that's a Juon reference? I think that might just be like, they're referencing... Curses. Curses as in like, the virus. The the ring is a curse virus. Oh I just want to look at this other bookshelf. Okay, something about chromosomes, no relevant books. There's got to be some- There! Yes, you! Yes! This is a ring. This is a report about the phenomenon known as the ring that occurred in Japan last October. The phenomenon occurred between September and October of 1990 and was over before year's end. The curse was determined as Sadako Yamamura's curse. Sadako copied her image to a video using her powers, and anyone who saw the video died of a heart attack within one week of viewing due to Sadako's power. Curse. Details are known as we're unable to confirm the victim's corpses. Note the curse video created by Sadako Yamamura changed into a virus. How the virus came about has been hit hypothesis, including rewriting of DNA through the retina of the creation within the host. For this, we've gained access to the corpse of Sadako Yamamura, so it's better to research that. Research in Japan found an autopsy where Sadako was alive for 30 years after falling in a well. It's best to determine this on your end. Attach this data confirming Sadako's birth. Birthday end of 1951. Female testicular syndrome, last chance of having smallpox, nothing known about her powers. Female testicular syndrome? I don't know. I guess that might be part of the canon. I don't know. I'm assuming that means that she has... Is she intersex? Maybe? I, don't, I have no idea. I have no idea what that means. Anyway. Okay, apparently uh, smallpox gives you powers. Yeah. This is 1998. Report concerning Ring. This was research in a lab about Ring. Is this a joke? Maybe that's what Robert was investigating. I should ask Professor Timothy about this. Was the smallpox wiped out by 1958? Hmm. Hey, who is that over there? Oh my god, it's him again. I can't believe this. Why does he have to be him of all people? You're... What are you doing here? An authorised entry is forbidden. Did you enter with permission from the chief? No, I just came in here because it was open. You don't have to be so mad at me. Don't have to be so mad. This room is off limits. Is it because it was open? What the hell are you thinking? Alright, I'll get out right now so I don't get so mad. Is that alright with you? Yeah, do that now. In any case, get out. Yeah, fuck you. This guy's an arsehole. That arrogant pest. She's not even going to apologise. Hey, do you think you have something to say? Who does he think he is? Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. That's it. I was stupid to think that. Well, excuse me then. What is happening? I don't know. Their exchange is so weird. Grumpy man. Grumpy lady. Grump grumps. In any case, what in the world is Ring? Was it Ring that Robert was investigating about? This is a preposterous story. When I heard it so many times, it gets me worried. Baby, it's time to stop running around the CDC and actually go back into the game. So numb. So numb. I don't think it's numb. It doesn't sound numb to me, quite honestly. No, it's not very numb, to be honest with you. I'd say it's probably going to be quite bummed, to be honest with you. But we've be met honest. all the thrilling characters. Oh, I want to just try the toilet door one more time. No! My dreams and hopes are shattered of getting arrested by Lucino for breaking and entering the toilets. In any case, that report. Ring, there's something about this. Should I try starting it up again? It just might possibly be it. God, the English. Maybe, possibly. We're not going to save here because there's going to be a save immediately as we go in, okay? Mm -hmm. It works? Is it this... works one day and doesn't the next. It wasn't a day, it's been like 20 minutes. Yeah. I need to enter my name again. It works after all. What are you talking about? It didn't not work last time. I report earlier and now this game, I should try it again. Oh, I guess they put us back in the... Yeah, they thing. were like, oh, have a little lay down, you passed out, have a little nap. It was quite considerate of them, honestly.
I'm assuming there's two other people. The same place as earlier, but there's nobody here. I should try going elsewhere. No, you should just stay here. Because <laughs> that would be good. I mean, it's probably, like, preferential to, like, you're at survival, right? What, just stay in one place? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. But, I mean, it'd be boring. No. This room's really exciting. Look at all the grey. Here's the item box, by the way. I'm looking for a ladder. What for? Uh, well, to, to climb it. <laughs> no, that's not what ladders are for. They're to walk under and then curse yourself. It's very hard to find stuff in this place, though, so we need to take our time and look around very slowly and painfully and cripplingly, obviously. <laughs> okay. Alright. The guy says, load in, then immediately go down the ladder. There isn't one! <laughs> uh, excuse me. Oh, there's a manhole here. Go downstairs. Are you fucking kidding me?! Listen, calm down. <laughs> you just killed lots of innocent people. I didn't do nothing. This is... I wonder if this is underground. Oh, for fuck's sake, are you talking about my burp? Yeah. <laughs> I, hear, I hear a bumpkin, by the way. You can hear it walking. But I'm scared. It's fine, don't worry about it. Oh yes, I got sassed about saying don't worry about it. <laughs> oh hi. And I feel attacked. What are you? Uh... Well, you're dead, but... A... a... a imp? Demon of some kind? Impos... imp possible. Imp possible, yes. Oh, hello. Reload. I will say, none of the enemies in this are remotely threatening in any way, in terms of the way they look. Oh god. <laughs> you don't know when to keep your mouth shut, do you? <laughs> I almost died there. Oh, the flashlight uses batteries. No! <laughs> this is the worst day of my life! What is this? Pick it up. You found the healing jelly EX. Okay, that's nice. I'm not mad at that. Alright, so there's a door here. Anything else here? Just another ladder? Looks like it, but... I don't know. Do I have a map? Maybe but not you'll never know. Oh my god, game. Why can't I go to the map? What? Why is it suddenly hypersensitive? It's really fucking weird. Alright. We'll go through the door. Pass the ladders. We're gonna have a long time, okay? Oh, what did I do? Uh... Nothing, don't worry. <laughs> Just ignore that happened. We're playing on a Dreamcast, I swear. <laughs> 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 Bevin, no. No, because I'm going to get killed by one of the fucking things, probably. Do I have any more bullets? Apparently I have. I have. I have, I have. Bevin, I'm scared. Don't worry about it. God damn it. Now I'm going to be so self-conscious. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Well, you know what? Saying don't worry about it is better than saying you know what I mean. <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, They're it the is. same. They're the same. No, it's not. They're because... one and the same, Numkin. No, let me tell you why it's not. Because mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. one of them mm -hmm. is saying something as an affirming, oh yeah, do you know what I mean? When you say the basic of things that as if, if I didn't know what you meant... I would not know basic English. 
And when I say don't worry about it, I'm calming you down and saying, you know what, it's fine. You, you're gonna be okay. Don't worry about it. What's with this music? Uh, Telephone? Okay. A silent prank call? What in the world is this? This gives me a bad feeling. Well, it doesn't matter because this is the save room. I think. Why is the music in the save room so intimidating? Yeah! Bevo, we found it. It's gonna get you. Man, don't take it well. Oh! Oh! Healing jelly, yes. <laughs> Handgun bullets, yes. File. Oh my god. What? The way you said that. Power, 1951. If something happens, it's up to you. What? 1951 might be a clue, actually, for something. Well, it's a small battery. Yes, we d the, the flashlight does use batteries, by the way. <clears throat> so I want to look at the map quickly, because this place is very confusing. No, I don't want to look at the knife. Oh, I did the thing again. How do I fix this? There you go. I don't know. How do you fix it? All right. Let's check out those two doors behind first, and then we'll go the other way, okay? Okay. I think it's best just to explore everywhere, Bebe, if I'm honest with you. Otherwise, we'll become a deadkin. You know about deadkins? No, I don't think I know about those. Well, they're dead. Oh. If you didn't know. Is anyone having a poo in these toilets? I just realized this is the same building. Oh, hello. Hello, guys. Follow me over here. I've got a plan, okay? A stealth plan. The stealth plan isn't working. The stealth plan isn't working, bye bye. Oh no. Open, open, open. Oh my god, you fucking. You fucking assholes! Oh, I might die here. I can't actually move. I can't get them off! Well, I mean, we only just started. Yeah, just as well, really, isn't it? So, uh, maybe I'll kill them next time. Can I just say, actually, I think the music in here is more annoying than the music in the other place. <laughs> and that's actually an impressive feat of design. They do try. I mean, I'm not sure they did, really. How dare you say such a thing? I think it's definitely debatable whether they tried or not, <laughs> if I'm perfectly honest with you. All right. Yeah, you say that lies and slander. Die, Jamkin. They're not even very strong. Which one was it in? That one. Oh the, no! Where the Jamkin is? Okay, Are you you got to press Y or whatever it actually was on the original Dreamcast. Load! No! I'm gonna have to heal after this, but that's fine. Get fucked. How much did that damage me, do you think? Full full damage? Oh no, I'm okay. You... Oh. Oops. Oh I'm fine. no. I'm fine, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Maybe that's better than the default walking speed, to be honest. <laughs> What's in the mail toilets? Is Lakino gonna tell me not to go in? This is gonna be like, oh my god, hello. Oh. I hear about a bumpkin. I was gonna say, there's definitely a bumpkin in here. But the question is is there any delicious bullets to consume? The answer appears to be no. I mean, probably no. 
Why, this, why is there no one pooping here? What if someone needed to poo? Oh, hi. I guess they just be out of luck. I mean, that's true. That one was definitely out of luck. Because it's dead. But it probably... What was that? What did I just do? <laughs> Never mind. I see nothing, I hear nothing. Where the fuck am I going? I'm back. I didn't want to go to the toilet again. How did I get here? Are you sure you didn't want to go to the toilet? I'm 100% sure I didn't want to go to the toilet. In this suit, the amount of time it would take me to get out of it, <laughs> and back in again, unacceptable, okay? It probably would take a, a quite a long time, yes. It'd be quite rude. I don't know if it'd be rude. I mean, anything with nudity is rude, right? What do you think? I mean, I don't think so, but... Well, why don't you think so? Because I don't think the human body is intrinsically lewd. I mean, have you heard farts? <laughs> That's not lewd. The, the lewdest. <laughs> farts are not lewd. What the <laughs> Breathing fuck? room! That sounds bad. <laughs> what perfect timing for this conversation. What are these enemies meant to be? He died from one hit? Is he even dead? I don't see any jam coming out of him. Uh, why is that? What is this? Uh, a bat? A bird? Oh, uh, he wasn't dead. Can I even kill it? Mm. I'm in trouble, again. That's an item box. Yeah, I don't know why it's in a room full of enemies. I'm gonna heal. I'll just use normal healing jelly. Yeah. Oh, it only stores you to better. So you need t It's one per stance, it looks like. Oh my god, that's very bum. Well, that is actually really bum. So the healing items are kind of like fucking dog shit, <laughs> to be honest with you. If I'm honest with you. <laughs> and I can't seem to shoot whatever that is. Healing Jelly Plus must be two stances, and EX must be three, I'm guessing. I'm just gonna leave this room, by the way. I like how you never picked up the thing on the floor. I did! No, the bullets. Were there bullets in there? Yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. At least I think, th I think... I'm not going back in. This is r the room's... the room's... the room's... Okay, I'm still better. That's good, right? Yeah, that is. Oh, thanks for the help earlier. Don't surprise me. I thought you were him. Apparently he's hiding somewhere. Here, somewhere. Somewhere here. Him? Who else could it be? I just want to rid of him soon. The one that's hiding, we need to be especially careful for. Okay. I got it. So we just have to kill him? You had to say it so easily. It's good to keep your head strong. But don't get caught off guard. I'll be fine. What is happening? What is this? Just like a fire thing? It's hard to tell in this game. What's in here? No good, it's locked. Okay, well... I do wish the flashlight wasn't like, complete shit. You know, and had like, some attainable sort of like, microscope room. The enemy is hiding her. Really, this is some joke. I'm actually going to come back in here in a minute because I'm pretty sure this is where he is hiding. Uh, and it, I think it's like a mini boss. So we're going to just have a little snoop around first, okay? Okay. We'll go on this one first. Don't know what's in here. Probably a bumpkin. Oh, hello, sir. 
what are you doing? We're fine here, so go check somewhere else. What is up with this? Who does he think he is? This has to be some kind of joke. Did you say anything? No, nothing! You want me to look at the other rooms, right? Hurry, we're too late if the virus spreads. Virus? Quit muttering and get going. Alright, we're counting on you. This dialogue is so great. I uh, was just gonna have a quick look around in here in case there's jammo. It looks like pistol bullets are fairly common, but I should probably save other bullets, I'm guessing. No one hiding in there, baby. We have opened up the curtains in the room in the actual Very likely. <laughs> <laughs> they look like they were made of like metal though. <laughs> I don't see anything collectible here, though. So that was a waste of fucking time anyway. Out the way, sir. I have a jamkin to kill. Oh my god. We would be so dead. What? Where? Oh, my flashlight's run out, I think. Just as well, we have a battery. Use. Yes. Like how that looks nothing like a battery? There you go, yeah, we ran out of battery. Oh, is the reason why it was yellowy? Yeah, because it was low. Oh, that's actually a nice touch. I like that. I don't. <laughs> oh, hello, sir. This is the one we're looking for, I think. By any chance, is this the one that sneaked in? In the balls! Reload, you fucking idiot! Honey, you're meant to reload in the menu, because it's faster. I know they told me to do that, but... Wow, he took a lot of putting down. <laughs> Even though this is a game, it doesn't feel all that great. I wonder if this will let me go back. It's nice if there's a laptop somewhere around here. It might let me go back. In any case, I should look around either the security office or the one in the offices. We've literally found the laptop, but we got, we'll go back for it in a minute. First, though, we need to search the rest of the room in case there's more jam. Okay. A key? There's a small keyhole here. Well, we don't have one. What's this? There's a map. Take it. Yes. Lovely. This music is fucking awful. <laughs> like how it has to be a laptop, because you know. I guess the computers wouldn't necessarily work. I think there's something else in here. But it's hard to tell what is like a thing and what isn't a thing. If that makes sense. The game does an incredibly bad job of letting you realise what is what. Let's put it that way. <laughs> There's like a drawer here. I'm trying to look- I'm trying to check the drawers. Okay. Found a file. Yes. There's no vaccine here either. I enlisted in hopes that perhaps, perhaps I could save my family. I'm sorry. Do you think Sadako brings everyone to this world in this version? I don't know. What's our health like? Because we did get hit. I'm gonna use one more jam, okay? Mm -hmm. Just a basic, basic bitch jam, though. Okay. Healing jam. I might as well put the knife away, I think. Because we're never gonna use it. Right, I know where the save point is. It's through here on the left. One of these, anyway. Maybe this one? Aren't you meant to look through the offices before you leave? Didn't she just say that? No, it's okay for now. Okay. You should save, though. We'll save back in the real world. I don't like the I don't like it. I mean, this actually might be the wrong room, anyway. Oh, no. Hello? Who is it? I thought I felt eyes on me. There was someone there. Yeah, spooky dooky. Is it just me? In any case, I can go back with this. <laughs> just mu the music started again. The music from hell. 
like how her arms aren't even like resting on the armrests. They're just like flopping behind her. I passed out again? I want to come back feeling a little better. This is far from normal. But the phone call isn't coming this time. It's because you already received it. Sadako's already sent you a warning. She was like, oh my god, I'm gonna kill you in a few days, lol. XD. That's what she said. She said lol XD as well, right, Pepper? Yep. Let's put stuff in the box first. Alright, we'll go to the knife. Oh, we don't have it with us here. Yeah, it doesn't transfer over, I thought. Yeah, it doesn't transfer over, you're right. I forgot about that. Well, next time we're near a box... Wait, in... hold on. Yes. Do the boxes transfer over, but not our... Th so we have two healing jellies right now? Yeah, that's, that's stuff we found in this world. Can we put it in the box to get it in the other world? Uh, I mean, I'm assuming we're not going to get into any fights this second in the in this world, so let's try Just it. Just put one healing jelly and see what happens. Oh, God, yes. Yes, ma'am. That actually is a good point if that works. If that works, we'll put the bullets in next time. Because that would make sense, because you don't have a gun here. I, I think eventually we will, but not for a while. There's timed puzzles in this game later on, baby. Oh, wonderful. Can't wait, my favourite. <laughs> I loved him. What even- is that a radio that they say it was? Yeah. God. Things have changed so much since this game came out. <laughs> Meg Rainman. Meg Rainman. The chief is calling. Please hurry to chief's office on the second floor. I repeat, Meg Rainman. The chief is calling. Please hurry to the chief's office on the second floor. A call from the chief on the PA system? What is with that? For now, I should head to his office. I mean... I wouldn't. He was really rude to us last time. Well, you know, we we stepped on the... F he... He... he <laughs> I don't want to spoil nothing. Because I vaguely remember something. That he's might a grumpkin. Be something, but he's, he's a grumpkin. That's all you need to know. That's all you need to know. I'm just running. Oh my god. Such a grumpkin, oh my god. I actually think it's this still here. But I don't know for sure. This could be Timothy's room. No, this is the boss's room. Hello, boss. Excuse me. I came here after hearing the announcement. This room smells. <laughs> it's you! Do you know why you were called here? Is it about the reference room? Moments ago, I told you to go cool off your head. Don't you think your behavior reflects what I told you to do? I'm sorry. Where did you enter the reference room? Just on a whim. A whim? You go into a room you shouldn't enter on a whim? I didn't know it was off limits. I'm sorry. And how did you get the key? It couldn't possibly have been unlocked. The monastery, it might take away the key. It took me a while to get. What is it? Answer my question. Because it was unlocked. I went in. What? It wasn't locked to begin with. I didn't know it was supposed to be locked. I'm sorry, I didn't know. It wasn't locked? Is that true? Yes. Then who? All right, I see. Anyway, from now on, that room's off limits, understand? Yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, be careful from now on. We're in a slight mess right now. I'm sorry, but you should refrain from activities that will confuse those around you. <laughs> understand? Yes, I'll be careful from now on. You should refrain from <laughs> any dialogue with me then. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> Because we were told to wander around the facility and explore and, and explore and never told that anything. Else. I know we were told by random guys, according, but I was not in sp specifically told by anyone other than the guy that caught me, according to like on the file of what was off limits. And it's only after I was in that room. Yeah. And there's no sign or anything. <laughs> so it's just like, it's so stupid. You tell me to do a ting, and then I do a ting, and then I get in trouble for it. That's bullshit. It is bullshit. Am I just tired? I feel so dizzy. Oh no, I can't stand still? 
I'm getting really dizzy. I need to go back to my room and rest. I can't... <laughs> it's so dark. It is very dark. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, this is the medical room? I hope you didn't have the... <laughs> oh no! on you. Oh shit, it's going so fast. Oh no, Dr. Mendy brought me here. I had to thank him later for this. I forgot about the way the weird dialogue works. It's only been a day. I know, I, I just forget. I forget everything. I haven't got a flashlight in this room, by the way. Which well, is great. I can kind of see things. Go to the switch on the wall. Or... Just leave. Leave. Oh, light! Yeah, but there might be tings. There might be tings, but hear me out. I can't see anything. <laughs> We're gonna go back to our office, okay? It's nice there. Okay? Wherever that is. Where is our room? Oh, we were in the room with all the curtains that we didn't open last time. Yeah, that's why... Don't worry about it. They're made <laughs> of cement. I'm not opening them. Cement curtains. That sounds like a euphemism. How would that be a... Well, they say people say beef curtains, right? Okay, yeah, one's flesh and one is implying stone. Yeah, what if a golem had a vagina? Hmm? A statue? Cement curtains. Marble curtains. <laughs> I'll be quiet now. <laughs> you make me question why I married you. Because you love me. People were laughing that you roasted me badly, by the way, in one of the videos this week. Oh, why is it dark? Is someone there? I have a weird feeling about this. I would too if I could actually see more than like three feet in front of myself at any point here. What did I say? Is someone there? What? Ah! Ugh. Well, was someone in a thing? Wait. Oh, he dropped his key card. What a fucking idiot. It'd be nice of him to turn on the lights when he left. Yeah. That was, if I saw correctly, I think that was the guy from next door, by the way. Uh, I can't remember his name, but the one that looked like... Pick up the key card! Yes. Okay, we can unlock more doors in the CDC now. Which is very handy. May as well save while we're here? Yeah. <laughs> I will say... I think I preferred the controls in Dead Space Extraction to the controls for this game. <laughs> like, I don't mind tank controls normally, but these are like tank controls on ice. That saving noise is so weird. Like, why did someone was like, yeah, let's make it squelch. <laughs> I'm gonna go and confront the guy next door. I'm pretty sure it's him. I think his name was Peter. I have no idea. Wait, he's a, he's the next door neighbor guy. Well, yeah, I know there's someone next door. I just can't remember his name. Hello, sir. Excuse me. What is it? You look so excited. What happened? I'm sorry, I had something I wanted to ask you. Did someone come out of my room just now? From your room? No, I'm not sure. Security guard just ran by this room, though. Security guard? The rather large frame man? Yes. I'm not sure if he came out of your room, though. I see. Anything else? Oh, no. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Well, that was convincing. And by convincing, I mean it wasn't really convincing. All right, we've got a new key card, baby. Let's do some breaking and entering, right? I think it was the old man. Mm, I don't think so. Excuse me, Meg, right? 
I trust the old man. Yes, can I help? Oh, it's her. <laughs> no, you just looked a little pale. Is something the matter? I think I'm a little tired, but I'm all right. Really? That's good. <laughs> what is with this design? <laughs> yes, thank you. Oh, Meg, that's a level two key card you have there. Why do you have one? Huh? Level two? Come on, you had it and you didn't know? If you have that card, you can get to the first floor where we low-level technicians can't. Oh, is that perhaps the card that Robert was using? Yeah, it is. That's right, you guys were dating each other. I'm sorry, I... Oh no, don't worry about it. I was thinking about something else, but I can go to the first floor with this, right? Yes, you can. The first floor's nice because it has a dining area. I went often using Chris's card, but I just found out recently. I got, f I got found out recently, so I haven't been down there. I see. Yeah, I want to go down there if I can. Can you take me there? I'm fine with it, but you just got here, are you sure? Me? I'm totally fine right now. All I can do is look around the lab anyway. Alright, I see. But if you get caught, we both get scolded together. I'm fine as long as you can promise that. That's fine with me. Sorry I'm making you worry about me. Thanks. It's nothing. I'll wait for you at the stairs to the lobby. Talk to me when you're ready. This is a bad idea. <laughs> After we just got, like, fucking told off in the first place, right? It's our first day of work and we're just <laughs> pissing off the boss relentlessly. Yeah. The stairs to the lobby. I got it. I'll see you later. Why don't we ask if Chris has authorization to go? Chris is the other female. Why don't we just ask her? <laughs> Why is the dining room off limits? I don't know. That seems really weird. It is, I mean, the whole game is just bizarre. I th anyway, I think we can open some doors around here, so let's just have a quick look. Oh yeah, I was going to meet up with Kathy in the lobby. Well, I wanted to look in that room, but apparently this is not okay. I'm just going to just try doors anyway. I can't go here. Well, who gives a shit, really? Let's be honest. How about in here? What was in here? Oh, I don't think we've been in here. Is the security guard going to be here and he's going to yell at us again? I don't know, but let's loot everything we can. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me running around like the speed of sound. But not because I can't. <gasps> Healing jelly. Oh my god. So numb. Is there actually anything else worthwhile in here? Maybe, maybe not. You'll never know. I mean, considering that everything looks like shit. It's very hard to gauge if there's anything worthwhile here, if I'm honest with you. <laughs> oh, there's, there's a locker. cabinet. Apparently not. That one just doesn't count. Oh, there's a map. We should probably take that, right? Yeah. Okay, let's get out of here. The four... What's the guy's name? Lucino? Lucino, that's his yeah, name. Yeah, Lucino. <laughs> That's me, but they go and laugh, and you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Sorry to keep you waiting. I wasn't waiting that long. I just got here a couple of minutes ago myself. We saw you go here! <laughs> hey, aren't you a little excited? Yeah, I was scolded by Lucino here once. He's a good guy, but he's so stubborn. Lucino, you mean the security guard? Yes. He's a gruff looking and serious about his job. He makes me sick. I see. Anyway, we should go before we get scolded. Wait, <laughs> we'll use the card downstairs so it's still okay. Got it. Then let's go. I feel like that's a bit... A um... bit mean. He does his job, the monster. <laughs> it was very that. Now swipe the card here. Okay. Here? That's all of it. Isn't it easy? The dining R is up ahead. Let's go. I think they meant area. They missed the A. Oh, can I have a look around here? Around this building? I don't think you'll see anything interesting. I think so too, but just in case. Okay, I'll go ahead to the dining area. And one word of advice. Even if you get caught, you'll be alright if you look confident. Hee hee, I'll try my best. But what if that is that security guard? I hope we don't have to dodge him. Lucino? I would think you were lucky. He's a pretty good guy, so it should be alright. A good guy? Thanks for the advice. You're welcome. I'll go ahead and wait for you. See you later! 
I mean, only three people seem to work here. Or well, four people, or whatever it is. In this massive fucking skyscraper building, presumably. You know? Oh, hi! Hey, Chris. Kathy and I are going to the dining area now. Care to join us? Kathy's here, too. Sheesh, you guys. It's not my fault if you get caught. But we can't go out today. I'm sure they'll let us. They're just like Kathy. You're very sanguine. But you have a point. Since you guys are offering, I'll be glad to join you. I'm so glad to have more friends. More bad friends, you mean. Being young really is a good thing. Come on, I'm already 23. That's, You're still plenty funny. young. Then go ahead to the dining area. I'll finish up this file and head over. Then we'll wait for you. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> These exchanges are just so 23 weird. 23 is a babu. Oh my god. She is a babu. A tiny babu. That is a babu. Oh my god. I wish I was 23 again. Me Jesus. too. I'd love to be 23 again. It'd be fucking no. great. What? If you were 23, I'd be a minor. <laughs> well, no, but like... Listen. <laughs> You're allowed to be 27. I don't want to be 12. Okay, fine. I'll 27, accept. 26. Let's say, what if we just both the age simultaneously to 23? No. Why? Because then I can't make fun of you for being a cougar. <laughs> <laughs> so we have just to so mean. So we have to maintain the seven year difference. <laughs> I don't want to maintain the seven year difference. I want to be 23. You could be 25. I'll take it. Because I think that would make me 18. I'll take it. Which would be fine. All right. And there's one more door here. Quick look in here, I guess. Oh, it's off limits. Well, doesn't seem to bother you about anything else. <gasps> more toilets, baby. Oh my god, so no. It won't let me go into men's room still. I really want to go into men's room. There might be handsome hunky guys to replace my boyfriend, my dead boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god, I'm already over it. At least we get to have another quick bathroom break. Oh, yeah. Wow, she's quick. Holy shit. Wash your hands. Nope. Wash your hands. Done. Mm. Don't make grumpy puppy noises in videos, but it's weird. I'll make them all I want. What? How? Just go and boo. What is this? Although, quite honestly, unless they have puppies, they probably don't know what we're talking about. They probably do. Why don't you explain? Well, when Pretzel gets grumpy, she goes, Boo. Boo. And that's a sign that she's like, It's not, it's not actually like a growl. It's, it's like a grumble. It's, it's like a grumble. She has growled at us before, which is bum. But yeah, she it's like it's like she's not quite sure how annoyed she is, so it's like a grumble. And she it's often e does that if we wake her up in particular. Yeah. And uh or she does it when she's like not sure if she needs to bark yet. <laughs> yeah, if, if she sees something outside and she isn't sure what it is, she's like, maybe it's a cat. I don't quite see four legs. I'm not quite sure. It doesn't look like a man's. Not quite sure if I need to bark. Okay, this is sealed off. And then oh. it'll and then it'll, and it'll go into a bark. Like a like a little boof. Well, it used to be a boof back in the day. She doesn't really boof that much anymore. Oh no! Which is a shame. What the fuck? Stop yelling at me! I don't know where I'm going. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? What do you mean, what? This is lucky. You have got to be kidding. I was asking what you were doing on this floor. I'm breathing. Do you have a problem with that? What does Robert see in this woman? Can I go now? Fine, do as you wish, but for normal researchers, this floor is off limits, right? I can't understand how she thinks. I ask you to keep that in mind. Oh, she was right. Am I lucky? Thanks. You're a better guy than I thought. 
Thanks for the compliment. I have no clue how much of that was true. <laughs> what is what? happening? What is this? This game is just like awkward social interaction simulator. <laughs> this must be. This must be the fucking cafeteria. It's the only door that looks get restaurant. I wonder if you get like it makes it a bit more difficult the more you run into him. I don't think so, but maybe. Where's 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 little Chris? What the fuck is that girl called? Kathy. Kathy. I believe. I'm pretty sure. Your late Meg. Was the tour fun? Sorry to keep you waiting, but there's nothing much here. That's about normal for a lab. That reminds me- What? No, it's not! <laughs> that reminds me, I invited Chris. She's not here yet. No, I invited Chris. I'll go look for her. What is happening? Really? Can you? That would be great. She can't have strayed too far on this direct corridor between her office and here. Meg! Oh, Chris, I was about to go look for you. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh yeah, Meg, there's a phone call for you. For me? I wonder if it's Jack. The caller didn't give a name, but it was a female voice. Oh, it's definitely Jack then. Female, I have no idea. Thanks, I guess I'll answer it. The phone in the office closest to the lobby, I kept her on hold. That's your office! Thanks, the office right. I'll be in the dining room. We just left her on hold. We just left the ghost on- why didn't we do that <laughs> Alright, see you later. Did you think she's put Sadako on hold? That would be great. Th this is the phone? Hello? Hello? Who is this? I've had enough. I need to go to the ring immediately. Can it be? You want me to play that game again? She didn't say anything! Stop jumping to fucking conclusions! You've got to be kidding. I mean, the the laptop just opened by itself and the lights turned off. I think I'd get a little creeped out. <laughs> uh, she didn't get creeped out! She said, you've got to be kidding, was her exact thing. Here I am, it's where I left the game last time. Okay, it's obviously not a game if you pass out and you appear somewhere else. And, and like, even if you don't think you're actually going into a, like, a virtual reality thing, because you would assume it's fiction, which, Oh, our okay. health is different here, by the way, than it is in the other game place as well. Okay. Well, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, okay. Alright, okay. We Wish can. me luck, because this is gonna- this is genuinely gonna be difficult. Okay. Yep. Good luck. The door might open if I break it. We'll open a shot from a powerful weapon. Well, we don't have a powerful weapon right now. <laughs> I'll start by looking for a weapon. <laughs> Thanks, game. The door will open if I break it. Oh, well. What incredible insight. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here. What the fuck is this called? Op- Opie room. Ope room. I feel like they just run out of, like, like translation here. I think they just ran out of caring. Oop. Don't worry, I'm awake. Oh, there's a thing up there. I need to push this, I think. <coughs> Hang on. This is like an RPG Maker puzzle, except with an engine that doesn't really support the design of that whatsoever. <laughs> See? <laughs> I have to push this. Okay. Oh god! Oh, that actually went surprisingly well. There you go. Got the shotgun. It's a shotgun! With this, I can open that broken door! <laughs> I want to try shooting this, but I don't think I should use this until I break that door. Okay, that's good for you. Anything useful in here? Like, I don't know, batteries or shit? Batteries, bullets, a lot of B words. Bumbuses? I mean, do you really want bumbuses? I, mean, I don't want bumbuses, but there might be bumbuses. <laughs> Let's try this room, which doesn't have a label, which means it's bad. How dare you? Oh, there's something in here. Hello, sir. 
I just want to pick up this battery and then leave. Pick it up! I mean, you could, or... Bye. <laughs> I did it, Papa! I didn't get hit either! He just was like, oh, I'm gonna jump at you. <laughs> oh my god, that's amazing. This was the wrong room. Where's the broken door room? Door room. Room door. This is just the infirmary where that man was, but I don't know if he's here anymore. I'm gonna leave this room. Don't care. At least we've got two batteries now, so I feel a bit more secure in our battery life. Yeah, that's nice. I only shoot it with a powerful wet. Okay, well, let's do it then. Oh, fuck how much space it takes up! Oh, no! <laughs> We got this, okay, you ready? You might wanna go to a uh Why didn't that work? Did that not <sighs> uh, is this working am I with wasting bullets? Check stop shooting and see if you can open the door. It'll open if I shoot it with a powerful weapon. I already have. It's broken. Okay, I guess it just takes three shots. That's dumb. Either that or you needed to just be farther enough away. Hello. I feel like maybe you shouldn't waste the shotgun. Oh god, I'm dead. I pressed the wrong button. Fuck me. You see all those hits it got on me? Yeah. There's a button that makes the game go turbo. Oh! <laughs> That's what that is, by the way. I didn't realize. Yeah, it make, it triples the speed of what's happening on screen. Oh, I thought I thought it was just glitching out. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, for fuck's sake! Shoot it in the balls. There's another monster in here. I can hear it. Maybe you shouldn't kill every monster. It's a bit hard not to if I want to explore. Because they're so fucking dangerous. Oh my god, die! Why do they sometimes take like double the bullets of the other ones when they're the same monster? I mean, you don't know their life. I do. Maybe they worked out today. There's something here. What is this? It's a lab member card. Okay, I guess they don't take up inventory space. Alright. I think... There's got... Is that all that's in here? I don't know. Alright, whatever. We did it. It doesn't open. Okay. That this key card's got to open something somewhere somehow, probably, right? Does it though? Does it have to? I mean, like technically, by definition, as a key. Yes. This maybe this one. Oh no 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 no! This one was bad. Well, we did. It's still got a hit on me. That fucking bat. I hate that bat. I think it's just a bird. Oh, doesn't she? I think she turns into ravens in the sequels. So it's probably a raven. There's enemies here. I can fucking hear them. Oh, this is the corridor where we were in the other world. Hmm. So these are the offices. That's a save point, I think. Oh, Maybe? wait. So is this our lab? Yeah, this is our lab. Oh. Okay. I'm waiting for this thing to fuck off, by the way. What is that on the wall? I think it's just like... Is that a map, maybe, there, actually? 
Like here, you mean? Yeah. The thing that... Uh, it's just this um, exit this way. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Alright, so that means... I'm just trying to get my bearings a little bit here. What the fuck just happened there? Do you see that? Did it just go weirdly fast again? I can't really tell. He just ran up and twatted me. What a fucking asshole. Alright, here's the toilets. Let's check out the toilets. Always very important. Hang on, did she just say I could shoot this open? Yeah, it, she did. Oh god. Is that going to be a thing now? Shooting doors open all the fucking... I guess it will be. Yeah. How many monsters in here? Well, there's bullets. That's them. Oh, shotgun bullets. My inventory is full, though. Just take a healing jelly. Yeah, I guess I should. Uh, healing jelly. I'll take EX and see if it heals me to full. Okay. Or plus. Which one? Plus or EX? I don't know which one's better, you know? Uh, I think plus would be the medium. Okay. Okay, that's for me to find. Alright, shotgun bullets have been taken. If there's anything else in these toilets, I'm gonna just book it. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, so this means that the offices down here, down here. So this is Kathy's office and the other office. Hello, sir. Oh, there's something in the corner here. What's this? Please be shotgun bullets again? Yeah! Fantastic. Okay, this door was off limits last time. Okay, so these, there should be a save point in the office there, but I want to have a quick look around first, if that's alright. No, it's not alright. It's God, fine. they're so relentless, the enemies. They're just ass. They're everywhere. I do wonder if they're infinite, if I'm honest with you. That would really suck. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised, though. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did you see that? Is the weapon the wrong one? Yeah, you need I need a different weapon to blow this one open. That's so dumb. Ugh. <sighs> It won't let me reload from the menu. I said, well, I have to do it on the gun. So, like, in Resident Evil, you do it on the bullets. So that confused me. All right, let's look around a bit more. Now we know that that's where we probably have to go, because that's the room that Sadako called us from. Mm -hmm. We can probably check out these rooms to see if there's anything in them, you know what I mean? Did you just see someone there? I mean, honestly, it's really dark on my screen, so I barely see anything. <laughs> Yeah, it's... Oh. I've got a lot of shotgun shells now. Which I'm going to save. Obviously, because I'm not a complete idiot. Especially as they die from like three normal bullets if you actually hit them. Mm -hmm. These things, anyway. I'm sure there's... that that The giant monkey thing took a lot more. The green one. Mm -hmm. But, uh... That one's locked. Yeah, the doors that were locked in real life are also locked in here, which I find interesting. Huh. That's where we came in. Now oh, there's bullets right here. Which is handy. That one's locked. I'll go down here and kill this guy and... See if there's anything else worth taking. This is this is where the cafeteria is. Did I want to go in the cafeteria? Mm. Definitely enemies in here. Oh god, I did the fucking thing again! I know. This is gonna be a huge problem, by the way. The game is completely glitched out. Okay. How's my health? Bad, good, not uh, great. Yeah. We're back into ring. Even though this is the same video for all of you. For us, it's like three days later. Yeah. We're gonna go in this room now and see what's going on, okay? Oh, hi there, sir. Is going on. That's what's oh, happening. Oh, do you see that thing? Don't worry about it. Ah, 
No, I'm uh, sensitive about saying don't worry about it. Don't I, worry about I it. I got sassed about oh, it. Oh, hello. Hello, mens. Oh, don't surprise me. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Anyway, why are you just standing there? Help me out. Is there anything I can do? It doesn't matter if you can or can't. If we don't make it in time, we both die. <gasps> what? <laughs> we die if we don't make it? What in the world is going on? The gas spray will start in 10 minutes. We can't stop the spray unless we restore power. 15 minutes at the most! Wait a second, what? <laughs> if we don't do something, we'll all die before the virus. Gas spray? Why is such a thing? <laughs> it was a plan to get rid of them. But a huge monkey appeared and ran off with the power key for the electrical room. They did it knowing that what would happen, it means that they were pretty intelligent. I'm appalled. We're going to die from a gas made to defeat enemies? Then I need to find a huge monkey with a key and restore power in the electrical room. You're rather calm, you know. You're pretty amazing. Anyway, yeah, that's it. Hurry, find the monkey and restore power. I know I'm repetitive, but you can't last more than 15 minutes. The code to restore power is 1951. Turn the power key, then 1951. This game really makes me work. It's not a game! Did you say something? No. Nothing. I don't want to die, so I'll find the monkey within 15 minutes. I take it you'll look as well? Of course, though I'm counting on you. I'm going back in this room immediately, by the way, because I need to pick up something. <coughs> Goodbye. <laughs> They're such a little nonkin, isn't it? You see what it was doing? It was like, oh, I'm going to have to give you a little lick. A quick lick. It's okay, don't worry about it. I have to loot this room. This is the only room times we can go to this room, so I have to loot it before we leave. I'm um, Hopefully, I'll, I'll do it inside. In time, but I'm not optimistic. Open the door! <laughs> no. Alright, there's something there. Let's just grab this and leave. There's going to only be one item. I'm going to assume there's just one item in here. Okay. What is it? Oh my god! Pick it up! It's a battery. Okay. That's actually pretty useful because we only had one. Because we had to reuse. Alright, now we need to go downstairs. Baby, I'm scared. I don't like timers. It's, it's going to be fine. I'm not sure it will be. Goodbye. It's Baby, it's chasing me. Baby, why is it chasing me? I'm going to need the shotgun to fight the monkey because this is going to be too, like, shit. Hang on, what the fuck? Where's the door that I came in through? This one? Yes. But we're already nearly on the 10 minutes, oh my god! <laughs> but I can't handle it! I mean, it, you have This to. is the wrong room! I want that though. <laughs> this is- Where the fuck is the room?! Oh my god, and I, it, I bet it doesn't pause. I bet it doesn't pause. It's okay, it's okay, we've got time, we've got time. Where the fuck am I- where the fuck is the stair- Okay, it's the stairs are down there on the right. Okay, so we need the stairs. So... Okay, it's the next door on the right. At least we've got another battery, right? That's good, right? Right? I don't know why you're seeking validation from me. I need it, otherwise the time is gonna freak me out and go cry. You don't want me to cry, do you? You don't want me to cry? I mean... You comment, like hearing me the, cry? The viewers might like hearing you cry. Like a, like a baby slots? No, that's just for me. Hang on, this is the door! What the fuck?! Or is it this one? It might be this one. Well, we wasted two minutes so far. This is it. This is the right door. I think. No, it's not! This isn't the right door! Where the fuck is the way out?! Where's the door gone?! It's... it's... it's just... This is ridiculous. This is this is hell. Is it though? Yeah, we went past it. It wouldn't let me in it. But I went. Oh my god. I don't know. It sounds like a lot of complaining to me. It sounds like this game is just so fucking bad that it can't fucking tell where the door. Oh my god. This time, first time. All right. This is it. We're going down to the basement. Hopefully, everything is dead still. Hang on, are we already in the basement? I guess so. Yes, B for basement. B for bumpkin. That is a very strong accusation. There's no accusation here. This is 100% accurate. Seeing as I've wasted nearly five minutes of my time already. And we need to go in this room, the breeding room. Is it breeding? Yeah, breeding room. <clears throat> now I need to equip my, my weapon. 
and shoot the fuck out of everything in this room. There's gonna be the really annoying bat thing as well, right? Whittling down my health as well. Do you remember? Mm, I'm pretty sure it's a crow, but yeah. Bat, crow, crow, bat. I can't remember how to shoot, by the way. That's the gun? Okay. This is the boss. Oh, the crow's gone. The very threatening boss. I mean, I guess he is a bit spooky, but... I blew his head off! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Here's the key. Got the key. Oh, oh my god, you bitch! Could pick up the key, or we could just meander. Emergency power key. Yes, right. It's the monkey with the key. There are limits on tricks to play, you know. The I time is still going like down when you're talking! <laughs> Give me a minute. I need a this does pause it. I need a minute. <laughs> this is giving me massive anxiety. I hate time limits. <clears throat> You're fine. I'm not sure we're going to be fine. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. We now need to go back up to that room we were just in, in 1F, where she was like, this is the power room and turn on the power. 1951's the code, right? Mm. Okay, we're actually probably gonna do this. We've, got plenty. We've still got 10 minutes, so we'll be fine. Oh, there's someone there. Do you hear that? Yeah. It might be a Nomkin though, you never know. Nothing in here is Nom. There's just giant lizards, crawly things, Ewoks, and monkeys. Are Ewoks monkeys? Discuss, chat. Not chat. <laughs> you know what I mean. Comments. I'm, like, I'm going to call YouTube, I'm going to call you chat, okay? I just feel that's just being a bunkin to our viewers. Listen. At the moment. <laughs> what is with this camera angle? Is this it? This looks like it could be it. Okay. 1951, right? I think. <laughs> Stop sneezing! I do mean to! Okay. I think we did it. The power in the lab has been restored. The power is now on. I wonder if this is okay. Sounds like we're alright. Looks like we're saved. In any case, I'm getting more and more used to this game. As silly as that sounds. Who is it? A girl? She disappeared. I saw nothing! It was so dark! <laughs> Who was the girl? This is giving me a bad feeling. Oh well. But the fact that is the power is back on. I can only go back for the capsule, I guess. I can head that way. Oh, we have to go back to the entrance of the whole fucking thing to leave. Even though last time we left away our laptop, now that's not possible. It's impossible, Bubba. Impossible. I know whether it is, though, the capsule, so that's fine. <clears throat> Watch me die on the way back. It's entirely possible. Unlike... I, I don't know. I, I don't know where it was. There's a bumpkin! Go through the door! Sorry. And like a bumpkin? Sure, let's go with that. <laughs> I can't wait to get back to reality and hear the beautiful, sweet, dulcet music again. It's so nice, baby, isn't it? You remember how it goes? Mm. I do. Because <laughs> it haunts my every waking moment. Oh, hi. Hello. No! Nope. I'm getting hit. Fuck. Alright, I need to figure out where to go. How dead am I at the moment? Because I might need to heal. Okay, I'm fine. Uh, map. Okay. It's one. I think it might be this ladder here, actually. 
It's one of these ladders that goes to the capsule room. Is it the one blinking? Maybe. Oh, wait, was that a door? I don't know. I don't know what the blinking icons mean. Please be the right room. Please be the right room. Please. Yes! Yay! Oh, we gotta... Hang on. Where's your cap... Do you have to go to your Pacific capsule? Because I don't know where your... Is this hers? Mm, I mean, it's up. Yes. It's because the power is back. It's working properly. But will it be alright? Just fucking use it. Jesus Christ. I'm getting a little worried. Please take me back safely. So weird. The office? Looks like I got back safely. <clears throat> I have a splitting headache. I'm getting sucked into the game more and more. This is the pits. Okay. Alright. Oh, uh, we were meant to be meet meeting them in the restaurant, right? But we got sidetracked by the phone call. Yeah. <laughs> I'll save next door as well before we continue. Because I'm a smart kid. The music has actually changed. Mm. It's nowhere near as like... Oh. We, w we went in here and saved last time. What the fuck? It's sealed off now. Hello, you two. Oh, here she is. Hey, Meg, you took a long time. Was it a phone call from your boyfriend? <laughs> that was... <laughs> Maybe you need to go through sensitivity training, Kathy. <laughs> I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but the phone call wasn't him. Right, Chris? Yeah, the call was from a woman. Really? For that, you sure took a long time. Anyway, Kathy, continuing with the story. Oh, about the underground? It's fine, it's not like I'm doing something bad. But if such an unfounded rumour gets into the Chief's ears, I don't know what he'll say. Huh? What's the underground? This lab has a basement as well? You're interested too, right, Meg? Yeah, apparently the basement of this place is creepy. Kathy, come on. And they say that people who got infected with the virus get hospitalised in the basement. People infected with a virus? Isn't that like human testing? Yeah, you think so too, Meg? That's where the Chief is keeping it a secret. We have a level 2 card to get in, and he gets mad and so he doesn't know if you ask. Where did the rumour come from? I'm not so sure, before I started working here, a security guard appeared, apparently saw a weird 8mm film, and then he started acting more and more insane every day, and one day disappeared into thin air. Wait a minute, what was that about people who got infected with the virus? Just keep listening. When the guys started acting funny, they took blood samples into the physical exam and found some weird virus. Right afterwards, the security guard disappeared, and a few days later, rumours have it he quit. The 8mm film has nothing Wait, to do with the virus, that's right? that's not disappearing, it's a thin Yeah, he quit his job. I, thing, I, guess, I guess they mean afterwards. Yeah, yeah. He, like, come on now, though. Why did such a weird story start? So you think, right? I mean, sometimes. <laughs> That's when the weird rumors started. There was an incident in which a virus was created from a video in Japan. The name of the virus was... Rain. Oh, <gasps> Baby, look! Someone's watching them. Hey, Meg. Are you listening? Oh, yes, I'm sorry. There was someone there. I don't believe any of those rumors at all, but... That wasn't Sadako, though. But... But what? Robert said he went underground to investigate. You're kidding, right? That's why I didn't want to talk about this. I'm sorry, but aren't you worried about it? <laughs> Baby, can you do your best evil laugh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for you. <laughs> underground. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, you can forget what I just said. I'm sorry, Vic. It becomes a rumor because we don't know why. Anyway, it's a silly story, so don't worry. But it's clearly not a silly story. Everyone who's gone down there has fucking died. <laughs> <laughs> like legit died, not just like pretend died. Oh god. Anything else you're gonna say to me?
She's not here, baby. She was right here. Doing but, spooky stuff. I mean, she told you where she was going. I don't know why you're confused. Alright. I think I meant to still talk to them, but I'm not sh entirely sure. Let's go in the kitchen. I bet there's some delicious snacks in here, okay, baby? And I don't just mean you. <laughs> that is quite rude. Is it also lewd? I mean, it kind of is. I mean, actually. yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Rude and lewd. Rude and lewd, yes. It's the best combination of things, though. Rude, lewd, and with a little bit of tood. That's what they say. You know that? Oh, we're back in here again. Yeah, but I don't like that. What? Tood. Yeah, I don't like it. Why? It sounds too much like turd. And that's not sexy. <laughs> I would agree. I don't like how long it took you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I'm just a knocking. Do we have to get divorced? No. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. Not yet. Give it a few hours. <laughs> Alright. I think we can pretty much go everywhere. So, what I'm going to do, guys, where you are going to see uh, some boring shit for a minute. You're not going to see anything for a minute, sorry, because I'm going to cut this out. But um, I'm pretty sure we can go anywhere now. So I'm going to just backtrack and go in all the rooms we haven't been to make sure we get items. Because I'm pretty sure this place is soon going to be completely filled with monsters. And having loads of shit in the item box in this world is going to be really helpful. Alright, let's go down to the basement. We can't have a flashlight because we're in the real world where light doesn't exist. Oh, the music has really changed down here. Why is this the place? This is so dangerous! I want to sue the CDC for not having fucking proper lighting! Yeah, it's really dark. Holy crap. Okay, thank fuck. It's only the it's only the one room. Alright, let's have a look around. Oh, this is the basement from the game. Where we spent ages exploring in the main thing. Mm -hmm. So this is the save room, I think. The music down here is intense. Holy shit. Oh, there's a map there, so let's grab that. I'm very impressed that I could identify that as a map, actually. <laughs> yeah. Seeing it's just like a smear of jam. Oh. Yes. Healing jelly is the best. I'll save here. Seeing as I haven't saved for ages. <laughs> I haven't saved since we started, actually. <laughs> Squelch. <laughs> dun 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 dun, you use the radio. You How use the weird you? massive radio. Right, I guess it's time to start exploring down here. Uh, okay, come, come on. Alright, so there's that. The men in female toilets. Let's go in the female toilets. <laughs> the music! I love the fact it's timing as I'm opening the door. Oh, hello. I've only three more days left to live. But I'm locked up here and I'm gonna die like a maggot. Wait, what's wrong with you? Three more days, hee hee hee, and I'm going to die. What are you saying? The back room, I'm sure it feels good in there. Alex isn't coming back either. I wonder what kind of place it is. She's acting strange. Are you all right? I <laughs> know, I have to bring flowers. I can live forever with Alex. I would be lonely if we didn't at least have flowers. I'm not afraid to die. I mean, you look it. I can only live seven days after I see that, but I don't want to go back to the back room. Goodbye. It was nice meeting you. I like your hair. Actually, I don't, but I 
just said that because I'm trying to be nice because she's going to die in three days. I feel good. I'm just going to open these toilets. Don't mind me. There was nothing in here. This was a waste of time. Goodbye. So they just literally had the patients wandering around down here. And the, all, the only quarantine is the door is locked by a key card sometimes. Yeah, pretty much. The, the, there should be like armed security guards and shit. Like, I'm not advocating for keeping people locked up, like, cattle or whatever, but, like, if you're gonna do it, commit to it at least. <laughs> don't just do it half ass. Jesus Christ. I don't think you're gonna find anything down no, here. No, I don't think so either. These angles is, like... These angles. These angles. These demons and angles. Yeah, demons and angles. Alright, let's explore some more down here. There's gotta be, like, a lot of shit. I mean, the story's gotta continue down here, so obviously there's more stuff. It's actually really nice to be able to see this with actual, like, visual detail as opposed to, um, being completely confused as to what I'm looking at all the time, like, in the ring. This is the breeding room. Where the monkey oh. was. It's exact replica. The ring is an exact replica of this. I'm actually going to put all the stuff I have in the item box for now, because I think, uh, that's what we're meant to do. Okay. Okay. Okay, then. You sleep in there. Have a nice nap, okay? Okay. You, <laughs> you didn't hear that, anyone else, okay? That was just in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I'm perfectly sane. Right, Pepe? I don't think you are. But I'm perfectly cute. That was cute, and you liked it. That was it. very cute, and I did like it. <laughs> oh, is this the guy? This is the guy, right? We know this guy. Hello? Can I talk to you for a minute? I don't oh, we don't know, we this, know guy. this guy. I don't know this guy, though. Yeah, as you can see, I'm more than bored. <laughs> you seem well. Thanks to you guys. Well, I'm used to not doing anything. You don't look that way. Anyway, I had something I wanted to ask. Why did you come here? I don't know. Just that we had sick people in the neighborhood. They brought me here saying I was infected because I was friends with someone who was infected. Someone who was ill? Where is he now? He's dead. Horrible. A horrible death. I don't want to be reminded of it. I'm sorry. I just did. It's alright. I'm sure I'm going to die just like him anyway. That's not true. I'm not being pessimistic. I've been happy for all these years. But the look on his face when he died was horribly painful. Did he look that pain when he, painful when he passed away? Yeah, it was pretty horrible. I mean, he literally just said that. Yeah, I'm <laughs> sorry, but I'm a little tired. I'm going to rest now. I'm sorry, I didn't notice. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> what the fuck is with this conversation? These are not real co These conversations are just... Um, this is, that is the highlight of this game. It's just how bizarre the fucking conversations are. It's some of the weirdest shit. Like, it just doesn't make any sense. And I kind of love it. And hate it at the same time. Oh, there's no one in these rooms. There's only like one, so we've come across two sick people so far. This isn't a pandemic. I mean, there's two people in the beds. Where? Right there. Oh yeah. Oh, they're just sleeping. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to wake them up. Okay. They're like thinking about jam. They're dreaming of jam. Fields of jam. It's kind of horrifying. No, it's like when I grow up, I want to be a jam seller, a jam monger. <laughs> a jam monger. A jam monger of old London town. That's what they say. So this is where the infirmary was in the nightmare world. Okay, I will say that is something strange. What? Um, the fact that, like, I had never heard the term fishmonger until I moved here. Oh. And that's like an actual place you can go. Oh yeah. <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, like we've gotten fish from the fishmongers before. <laughs> And it's just, like, strange. Jam monger is a thing, too. No, it's not. Can you spare a minute? What are you guys doing here? What are we doing? We're going to treat us here, right? You are the ones who brought us here. They were bought by people from this lab. Did you think I just wandered in here? I'm sorry, This that was right. By the way, how is the treatment? I have nothing to say. Take us to the back soon. Take us to the back soon. I have to go home. My kids are waiting for me. To the back? To the back corridor, there's an ICU over there, right? 
I heard that's why they won't let us in until five days after we get here. To me, it doesn't look so full that you have to make us wait that long. To the back ICU after five days? I mean... <laughs> go on. Why would you want to go to the ICU? You don't you'll need be, to you'll go be cured. to the ICU. Everyone's, everyone that goes there is clearly dying, right? That's obviously what's happening. No, but I'm just saying, intensive care unit. If you are not, like, literally dying right now, you don't need to be in an intensive care unit. Why do you want to get there sooner? That's not how that works. <laughs> You're right. I'll see if I can let you go in earlier. Hey, we're going to be okay, right? We're not going to die, right? Die? What is she saying? Of course you're going to be alright, don't be silly. But a lab member of this place died recently too, right? I heard it was a rumour. But How? Robert, who came here often, doesn't come here at all anymore. Isn't Robert the one who died? Robert was here. You know this! They told you! Hey, are you listening? Bring Robert here, I want to talk to him like before. Please. Alright, next time. I'll bring him with me. That's right. Keep her delusions going. Really. <laughs> Thank you, I was slightly worried because I was going back there soon. The rumor's there you die after seven days if Robert is alright. I'll be alright too. If Robert is alright? What do you mean if Robert is alright? Don't get mad at me! What is going on?! I just heard that from Robert that I'll be alright if he's alright. That he's alright because he shot a vaccine. Robert shot a vaccine? Impossible. Impossible? Robert is fine, right? He's fine, right? <laughs> it's like that meme. What does this mean, Robert? What happened to you? Hey, you listening? Robert is fine, right? Yes. He's fine. He's alright. Robert, tell me. He can't tell you anything. Anyway, <laughs> have you heard anything else from him? Anything? You ask questions like the chief. I'm a patient. I haven't heard anything. The chief? What do you mean, the chief? What do you mean, what do you mean, the chief? <laughs> the chief asked you about Robert? What? What did he ask? What is up with this? I just told him that I wanted the same vaccine that he gave Robert. The Chief is hiding something. That just can't be. But the Chief... I'm sorry I got so excited. You helped me out a lot. Wait! Are you really... Are we really alright? Did something happen to Robert? Yes. There's nothing wrong, I'm sure. I'm sure that you'll be alright. Don't worry and stay here. Okay, then. This is just bizarre. <laughs> this is just so fucking strange. Like, the dialogue is just so weird. Do you have a minute? Do you want something? What is with this model? Yes, I have a question. I don't know anything. I'm just waiting for my moment of death. Waiting for your moment of death? I'm just an experiment sample, right? You don't have to hide it from me. Experiment sample? You know what an experiment sample is, Meg! <laughs> anyway, it's almost time that the chief shows up, right? Are you sure you should be here? Huh? What in the world? I really don't know anything. I'm just making it all up. You're being a little jumpy, so I thought that perhaps you snuck in here without permission. You're right. I just want to know what goes on in here. No good. There's no way we would know. We were just brought here merely because we were infected by a virus. I don't know anything else. I see. And where are you from? That doesn't matter. France! With my beret! <laughs> anyway, that chief's eyes, they're not normal. You should be careful too. The chief's eyes? Thank you for the warning, I'll be careful. This is such weird stuff. This is... Like, that whole conversation was just so strange. It's no different than the other conversation we've had this No, but it was worse. I feel like it was worse than the others. The microscope room. Now I know why all those doors had the weird labels on them, by the way. Oh my god, I think of Papier's home. Footsteps. Damn it, someone's coming. I have to hurry and hide somewhere. Is there some place I can hide? I hope you know of a place you can hide. Oh, so she wasn't lying. The chief does come down here. I see, but that's even better news. Oh, it's this guy, the guy that was breaking into our office. Mm -hmm. That is it. Now I can have complete control of it in the near future. But no virus has ever been this powerful. You can't make fun of magic in Asia. What? It's, it's not <laughs> magic. Hatred. Yes, it's a curse. A powerful one at that. One that was built up in a well for over 30 years. Oh yes, I'm sorry, that's right. I forgot that minor detail. <laughs> anyway, now the virus has been confirmed controlling, it is a matter of time. Yeah. We can't have nonsense like that failure last time. Well, that was useful in itself. Useful? Chief, then you did. <laughs> you used it on them? Oh, so he used them as a test sample, Robert and stuff. 
I guess. Yeah. Oh, I really don't know. Anyway, hurry up. We've come this far. It's only a little more. Oh, yes, I understand. I think I can finish in one more day. Yeah, I'm counting on you. What if he just hangs out in this office for a while and we're stuck here? I don't think this is his office. This is the microscope for him. I know, but why did you come here specifically to talk and then leave? Most of it. What are they doing? But if the chief is here now, I have a quick look in his office. For now, I should hurry up and look in the chief's office. I mean, are you going to have to pass the chief on the way up to his office? I don't know. Maybe. Let's look around some more, though, and explore. There's absolutely nothing in here, is there? Probably. Oh, oh no! Some jam? We got some jam. You can't snuff the jam. No, I think we're going to need every bit of jam we can get. I mean, you movie. literally can't snuff jam, but... I mean, you can try. <laughs> I mean, you... that's not a good idea. We can make a video of me trying to snuff jam. Would you be alright with that? No. Why? Because I want a wife. Hmm. And I feel like you blocking up your airways with the viscous substance is not a good thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, but it's probably more dangerous to do something like the uh, cinnamon challenge. Oh yeah, that sounds... that's a really bad idea. Yeah. I think there's nothing in this room at all. Oh, but like I, but I can't imagine snuffing jam is good for you either. No, no, it, it, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that, viewers at home. I mean, I would hope our viewers have enough, like, survival instinct not to do stuff like that. Jam can only be used for certain things, like finger painting and stuff like that. And moving right along. Just having a look for some more jam, see if there's any in here, okay? You never know. You never know when there might be jam, Bubby. There's I'm... no jam. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no oh, jam. that's where you put. We pushed the thing, remember, to get onto the, thing, the gun on top of the cupboard last time. Uh huh. They're still here in the real world. Because the real world's just the same as the other one, except lighter. Mm hmm. Okay, that's where the. Uh, that's the intensive care unit, which we don't have access to. All right, what, what do we need to steal? Everton? That sounds about right. A small key. Fantastic news, Bubby. If I had this key, it looks like I can open many things. I remember this drawer that didn't open in the reference room. Anyway, I had to get out before the chief comes back. And he will, right now. We'll look around first. This girl be so no. Oh, God. I mean, considering oh. how... I think we can open, like, every locker in the game now, by the way. Like, every locker and chest in the game with this with this item. Mm. So, I guess that's important. Probably. Possibly. Okay, here's the plan, Bubby. I'm gonna go into the reference room, like she said, and open the drawer. And be like, oh my god, this is so nice. I love this room. Like that, okay? Sounds you ready like to say Let's see if we can open all these. Well, that was a waste of fucking time, this key, huh? Do you have to manually use the key? No. There's no there's no inventory system. There it is, see. We got the 8mm film. I'm pretty sure this is the ring film. Well, I mean, we're already cursed because we went yeah. into we the game. Yeah, we watch it again. We <laughs> watch it on loop for a bit, right? I mean, you might as well. <laughs> this is... It can't be the 8mm film. If I watch this, I will... Fine. In either case, I've come this far. I'll stick through to the end. I had to find some place to see this. You were already cursed. You're already cursed for the seven days. It's not. <laughs> yeah, she already had the phone call. If does anything, she does she, have not, does she not realize? I don't think she knows. If anything, right? Watching it might reset the timer. <laughs> oh my god! Like some meta stuff. <laughs> We have to go back to our office for a second anyway. I'm going to just check all these rooms out That'd on the way. That'd be funny. For stuff. I want that to be a thing. I want that to well, be a horror movie. you can just keep watching it to reset it. I want... Sadako gets really confused. Yeah. I want that to be a thing. Can we open these? Like time? at the end of a horror movie, everyone keeps dying and then somebody is just alive at the end. Like a like a character that wasn't even important and they come back and they're like, how are you still alive? It's been like a month. And they're like, oh, I just watched the tape. Again. On, on the sixth day and it resets. It's fine. <laughs> Sometimes I watch it on this fifth day just to fuck with her. 
<laughs> Do you remember how much time we spent on the final boss of Clock Tower 3? Yeah. I wonder if this one's going to be like that. Oh no. I don't know if it is. I've, I've never, I don't know anything about this game. Though. I don't know enough about this game. Okay, so we need a key to get into this room. That's the only room in the whole place we can't access now. And it's obviously where the projector is. It's called the audio-visual room. Is this our room? Or is there another one? No, this is our room. We need to go and call Jack. Our good British friend who's been so prevalent in the story so far. He's call Oh, he's calling us. Unless it's Sadako. Calling us on the old fax machine. Hang on, what the fuck? It was ringing and now it's not. Uh, Meg, it's Jack. Jack! What's wrong? Did something happen? Did something even ever happen? So many things happen that I'm confused. I see, I called because I had something on my mind. What's wrong? Apparently there was a connection between the chief of that lab over there and the computer program called Ring. What do you mean? I'm not sure if that program has anything to do with all of this, but last year in Japan apparently there was an incident concerning a video called Ring. That incident is some strange story. I know about that story. I read a report about it in this lab. And a copy of the video, which is supposedly the reason, is currently in my possession. What? I see. Well, that makes it easy to explain. It does it? <laughs> Do you also know about Sadako Yamamura, the supposed creator of that video? I mean, did she film it herself? <laughs> it, very interesting to do while trapped in a well. Yeah. Like, who set up the camera? I mean, I guess the whole thing is just, like, she made it with her spooky dooky powers after she yeah. was dead. Also, was it... I mean, in the in the American, I can't remember exactly the Japanese version of the of the movie. Other than other than the only thing I remember is that I liked the American version more. It is better. Um, was it thirty years in the original Japanese? I don't think so. <laughs> Maybe in the original Japanese, but not in the American version. It's not. No, know. in the in the American version, it's seven days because that's how much you could last without yeah. uh, water. So, for those of you who don't know, by the way. So this is minor spo major spoilers for the Ring movie, but as you're watching this playthrough, I don't think you give a shit. The re the reason it's called the Ring is the Ring is the Ring of Light you see around the edge of a well when you're thrown down a well and then have it sealed from above. Yes. So just so you know, and the, I actually think that's really cool. By the way, that is that is uh, very cool. And also the Seven Days, at least in the American movie is uh because that's how long she theoretically survived. lasted survived because that's how long you can theoretically kind of last without water yeah um because it wasn't a full well it was an empty well that yeah she got she's, shoved she's down pretty pissed to. as well about it obviously oh that's yeah she's, she comes, she's that's really why pissed. she makes a spooky tape she's got mommy issues in the american version i can't remember what the japanese version is like roughly yes she supposedly had some supernatural powers and could curse people to death right yeah, that's about it. But anyway, that's Sadako Yamamura. She's over there at the lab. You're kidding! Why would Sadako Yamamura be over here? That's the connection with the lab chief that I mentioned earlier. Your chief showed a strange amount of interest. He used the authority of CDC to pull out the corpse. I still have more. After all the incidents concerning Ring in Japan, the curse changed shape into a virus and caused another epidemic in Japan, which is Ringu 2, which is terrible. A virus? All the information can be confirmed. Meg, for this case, don't associate yourself anymore with the ring. This is getting beyond the bad feeling. <laughs> you know that it's too late. What the fuck? <laughs> There's like a fat purple woman behind me. What? Jack. The phone is dead. Pardon me, Meg Rainman. Oh, hi, Lucino. You're... What does the security guard want with me? I'm sorry, but it's the chief's orders. We need to hold you down for a while. Please come with me. Hold me down? Do you find I have the 8mm to put it from the reference room? Now come with me. You're kidding at a time like this? Alright, I'll come with you. Then to the hallway. I have to watch this 8mm film at least. I understand. And she just runs! Hey, wait! Where do you think you're going? Wait! <laughs> we outsmarted him, guys. By just running. By just running in a direct line, and he's not following. <laughs> we gotta go and speak to uh, speak to someone else now. We're gonna go and speak to Chris. She's our only lifeline here. Okay. Whatever happened to old man Timothy? I don't know. I'm guessing he's like the main bad guy. I'm guessing he is Sadako in a, in, a, in like an outfit. 
<laughs> like glue on bed. Uh, he's just fu he's just fucking with us, you know what I mean? He has been gone for a while. He might be very dead. As opposed to just slightly dead. Yeah. I'm glad you understand me, Bebe. <laughs> I did my best, Bebe Noki. This is Chris's office, I think. Yeah, there she is. I actually remembered where this was. I'm quite impressed. I mean, I'm impressed. I don't remember where anything is in this game. Uh, Chris, do you have a minute? There's a key literally spinning on the floor over there. Look. Don't worry. <laughs> don't mind it. <laughs> Meg, what's wrong? She hasn't heard the chief's order to hold me down. Can you stop saying hold me down? I have an 8mm film I want to see. Is there any place I can watch it? An 8mm film. Oh, I think you can watch it in the audio visual room on the second floor. There should be a key room around here somewhere. You should take it. A key? Where is it? Well, either this room or the next. It was somewhere around here. I'm a little busy, so can you look for yourself? Thanks, I'll look for it now. Can you just stop being so fucking useless, Meg, and actually fucking do something around here? I don't even know what your job is. So far, your job's been just be really annoying to everyone else. Let's be real. Kinda, yeah. Alright, we have the key. I'm gonna save in the room next door if I can. And then we're gonna head, um... To the audio visual room, I guess. And we're gonna watch the cursed film, baby. The cursed film. <laughs> can I open all these now? Thing is, I don't know, I can't remember many of these being locked. It was like, oh, oh, well, there's some more bullets, that's good. That's the noise Sadaka makes, right? Sure. Does she actually make any noises? She doesn't make the grudge girl noise. Um. She might scream. Oh, maybe. But I don't. I think it was mainly the whole like coming out of the TV that was her gig. <laughs> and like making people have a stupid face when they died. That's one part I didn't like about the American film. <laughs> Kills with an O face. Kinda. She does. Like she just looked. That's her. Her thing is the eyeball. Her thing is the eyeball. Oh, yeah. Looking yeah, yeah. down. Where it's all like and spasms. Crawling, yeah, 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 and crawling out of the TV. That's the two things she'd use. Does, does, and then the victims get like distorted, extended rawr, faces. Is do's the new do don't? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the thing she does. <laughs> the thing she does. <laughs> and uh, meanwhile, I'm pretty sure Kayako, you just end up kind of mashed up. We might be playing the Drudge game pretty soon, anyway. The Grudge game's. I'd arguably worse than this, actually, to be honest with you. Like, yeah. They're both pretty fucking awful. Especially getting the true ending for the Grudge game is, is awful. G one's really tragic. I mean, it goes way out of control because eventually it, it just goes every... Like, you see a black cat in any capacity anywhere and you're cursed, but... Just the story is <laughs> sad. Because yeah. it just didn't need to happen on any level. I mean, every, uh, uh, I mean, I guess that you could say that for any spooky thing. But it was just like excessively um, toxic masculinity at its finest. That okay. is the whole problem for we're the grudge. We're about to use this. Oh shit, I didn't press use. It did it. Now I can see this. I wonder what's on it. Although I don't want to be cursed to death. You're you already, already are. cursed to death. Hey guys, to remove a copyright claim, I had to cut out the FMV here, which is basically footage from the movie of Sadako coming out the well. I'll be doing this again as well a bit later on, but just so you know, you missed absolutely nothing except possibly some of the low-res worst FMV I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, yeah, she was like a troubled child. And then got punted in by her mother, and that's why she has mommy issues. Can, can I just say that was the shittest iteration I've ever seen of the Ring movie, ever? I'm pretty sure that's what it is in the film. She crawls out of it though in the film. What in the world? What in the world is this? 
Oh, the little girl's behind us again. Mm -hmm. I think it's a little girl. It's really hard to tell. I mean, he's got a super duper flip that I would expect. Oh, for fuck's sake, we're back here now. How does she... She's not even trying to justify it anymore. Like, what am I doing back here? I wasn't at a computer. I, 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 I don't know. At this point, I probably wouldn't justify it either, though. I'd be like, oh god, okay, fine. Let's just get this over with. All right, anyway, uh, we need to get uh, out of here. I mean, to be freaking frank, I just wouldn't sign up to work at the same place that you did after you died. Yeah, I, I, just... I, I, I would put that down as a red flag. I mean, I'd want to know why you died, but at the same time, I don't think I'd be enough to just be like, yeah, I'm going to infiltrate the job and work there because that will tell me. Like, I don't... And certainly not, like, literally the day after you were dead. Or the morning after, even. There are enemies <laughs> everywhere, by the way. Like, this place is fucking crawling You just gotta them. run! We're going through the new area! This is where the, uh, the ICU lab is. We gotta remember to put in a warning for spoilers for both The Ring and Juon, because we've been talking about those two movies a lot during this playthrough. Uh, yeah, that's true. Hey, you! Hurry up and give me the grenade- the launcher and the grenades. What? Me? Yeah, who else is there? Just hurry up. Grenade launcher? Where in the world is such a thing? The grenades are in the kitchen, of course. I like to keep my grenades in the kitchen. <laughs> kitchen yeah, on the first let me floor. put an explosive near fire. <laughs> As for the launcher, I think it was in the warehouse in the annex. Why would you have them so far apart from each other? Hurry, I can't hold them anymore. To that thing, a rifle is like a pea shooter. I got it. The kitchen in the annex warehouse on the first floor, right? I'm pretty sure I'm counting on you. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> I desperately need I have a vague items. idea. <laughs> the good news is I don't think anything of this bit is going to be timed except the real finale. Finale. Yes, yes. Got a key. Listen. All right. Listen. You just have to let the bumpkins become numkins. But what about the numkins become bumpkins? No, you don't want that to happen. I just realized something. We have nowhere near for inventory room to pick up. Like a fucking grenade launcher and shit like that. We're going to put the shotgun away somewhere. And I bet you, in a million years... Oh, here's the grenades for the grenade launcher. This must be the grenades. So I'm supposed to shoot these with the launcher? I have to be careful, because there's only three of them. Anyway, I shouldn't use them until I get back there. So yeah, the next boss can only be damaged by the grenade launcher and you have to hit it with all of them. <laughs> so if I fuck up, that's it. <laughs> I'm gonna summon it! Oh no, there's an assault rifle! But I don't have room for it. Oh, sucks to be you, bubba. Your inventory is full. What do I have in my inventory right now? I guess I could use one of these, but it's gonna be a bit more than that, right? So, like... God damn it! <laughs> the shotgun's also pretty useful! Alright, I'm gonna heal, okay? Mm -hmm. no, actually, no, I'm not. I'm gonna... I think there's a box in the, in, the, in the cafeteria. There's probably tons of enemies, too. I'm gonna try and put the bo thing in the box. I'm gonna try and put the, um, the shotgun away in here. Mm -hmm. Assuming I don't die, just trying to do this. Oh, there's a battery there as well. There's also a lot of bumpkins in here. I can hear them stomping. It'd be good if you could pick up the thing that's clearly here. Oh my god, fuck it. There's the box. <laughs> the other guy was like, shall I chase it? Nah. <laughs> Alright, we'll put the shotgun in here and the shotgun shells for now, okay. So I'll take the assault rifle. Okay? Mm -hmm. I'm also gonna need to put the grenade launcher somewhere, <laughs> depending on how big that fucking is as well. Fuck! <laughs> I'm doing okay, Bubba. I hate. Oh! Oh! Uh. I don't think you're doing okay. I'm doing fine.
All right, here. You, come here. Oh my, why is it so hard to pick up anything in this game? Okay, there we go. Oh, and there's a battery. No. They stack at least, that's good. Everything's fine, baby, okay? Mm, it's not really that fine. I'm not sure it is, you know. All right, we got the first part of the gun. Brilliant. Now we need to go to the capsule room. We might not have enough room to pick up the gun in the capsule room. Maybe I should leave the assault rifle somewhere as well? I don't know. <laughs> okay, here's what we're going to do, all right? As the, as the grenade launcher is like a one-use thing, mm -hmm. all right, we're going to put the assault rifle in the box in this room down here. Hello, sir. I might actually kill you. Because you're really annoying. And I have loads of pistol bullets, and you're like the worst, the shittiest type of monster, so... The red ones are easy to kill. They're like bumpkins. They're dumpkins. Alright, is there a box around here? Yes, there is. Right here. Fantastic. Interact- is that a box, or is it just part of the floor? It's really hard to tell. Okay, game. You don't like me. I'm not overly keen on you either, let's be real. But we need to talk about this, okay? You go there. Stay. Stay. Bear Papilla. Don't call it a Papilla, how dare you? Why wouldn't I call do it a Do not papilla? slander the Papilla name. Why not? What do you mean, why not? Papillas can be naughty. Just like item boxes. Hmm. Here's the grenade launcher. Game. There's something up here. My flashlight just ran out. I heard it. I heard his belly rumble. Actually, it was like blah 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 blah. That's the noise it made. Blah 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 blah. blah, blah. All right, we have four four grenades. There's one in it. Pick up the bullets. Come on. Thank you. God, why is picking up anything in this game like a major challenge? Where am I? How did I get here? What is happening? Where have the stairs gone? They're here! Goodbye! <laughs> okay, we have the grenade. Now we need to go and return to the nice man and help him kill the bumpkin, okay? Okay. You know what he's gonna say? What? Why'd you take so long? He's gonna be dead, actually, probably. No, Mark, no, no, luck. He's probably already fucking been smashed in by the monster. Oh! Thank you, Apple Software Update, for covering the entire screen there so I couldn't see anything. Sounds right. I'm gonna save again because I don't wanna fuck up this fight. Don't remember where it was. God, I, the controls are so awful in this, like, they're the worst tank controls I've ever experienced. Like, I play tank controls all the time on stream, mm -hmm. and I'm fine. This is, like, tr oh, it's unbelievable bad. It's because it's, like, got really bad hit detection and tank controls. Mm -hmm. Like, you can't, see, you can't tell where the door is. You're late. Did you get them? Yes, I bought them. You're a lifesaver. Now use it to blow away the enemies inside. Huh? I'm doing it? Of course. They're inside this room. How am I supposed to do it? What do you mean, how? Hit the guy in the room with a grenade! Don't, but don't miss, that's the last grenade. There's actually four of them, actually. Don't make it sound so easy. I mean, it's not gonna be easy. I'm not saying it's easy, but if you don't do it, you're gonna die. Just give up and shoot. Give up? What do you think this is? All right, fine, I'll do it. Even if it gets me, I'm not that, it's not that I'm going to die. What are you saying? Anyway, I'm trusting you, and don't forget to load the grenades. She still thinks this is a game other than real. I know, <laughs> I'll do it. I'm counting on you. She still thinks this is a fucking game! What the fuck? Is she stupid? Well, I think we've established. Okay. That is not the boss. I'm gonna use this. Mm-hmm. 
Or maybe this is the boss. How much damage did that do? I don't know if this is the boss! <laughs> I'm gonna run away, okay? And see if there's anything else in the room. Mm. Nope, it's this. I like its animation. <laughs> oh, it died. I did it, really. This is no joke. Huh. Looks like it's over. You saved us. I wonder if we could have <laughs> saved another grenade if we just shot it in the yeah. face a couple more times. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like it's over. You have got to be kidding. What were you doing? Don't get so mad. I was battling it out with the guys outside. The guys outside? Oh well, this is okay, right? Yeah, you saved us. I'll take care of the rest of them. If you're done, help the guys on the upper floors. Upper floors? There's something up there? You were literally there! <laughs> yeah, there seems to be quite a number of enemies and they're having trouble. Take a breather, then go help them. You really know how to use people. Alright. Sorry I have to ask, but we're counting on you. Why is she so hostile to everyone that asks her to do anything? <laughs> she is! She's a complete <laughs> bitch to anyone that... Like, someone's like, can you make me a cup of coffee? And she's like, what? Were you trying to control my life? Anyway, before we go back, let's see where we are first, because I actually have no idea where we ended up after I careered through the darkness. <laughs> okay, let's check out these rooms here and see if we can find anything. Okay, because this is the ICU area. All right. And um, then we can head back up to the top floor, which is where we need to go. Oh, cutscene. I'm here because he told me to help you guys on this floor, but what do I need to do? I'm sorry, but I'm not sure myself. Meg? Hey, Jack! How did you get here? Who the fuck is Jack? Jack is our friend oh. from way along. Oh, yeah, 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 the, the British guy. This is inside that game, right? Probably. To tell the truth, I just started the game, and I ended up here. Can it be the game is networked? In any case, it's a little strange. I sometimes can't tell which is reality. Yeah, I'm surprised myself. In any case, it's a strange game. It doesn't feel like I'm controlling anything. Meg! Look out! <laughs> you! What? I can't. This isn't true. Meg! Jack! What is happening? I guess we're disconnecting? Yeah, I think we're disconnecting. But we're going to be back there very soon. Which is great, because we have no heals. Okay. This is not ominous at all. Are you awake? Chief, Dr. Jones. What did I... When I had our security guard, Lucino, pick you up, I heard you ran away from him. No, he suddenly told me he was going to hold me down! <laughs> and so... Hold? I guess I could put it that way. All lab members are waiting in their rooms now. Right now, everyone in this facility is being tested for a particular virus. Testing for a virus? Yeah, we confirmed a virus that we think was the one that killed Robert. You mean the one that you put in Robert? <laughs> yeah. You confirmed a virus? Yes. So we are having all lab members undergo a blood test. We clearly have it. Especially you, because you were close to Robert. Hang on. We wanted to hurry up with your tests. But he didn't want to alarm the entire facility, so the chief was kind enough to send Lucino over to your room. That seemed to cause a misunderstanding. I'm sorry, but if you figured out which virus... Can't you respond to it without causing much panic and confusion? We were able to determine which virus, but we still don't know the infection method. Yes, you do! There is no infection method. Perhaps there is no such thing for this virus. Then it's not a virus, Peter. There is no infection method? A joke. Of course, it has to have some method of infection. What a great witty banter this is. We can't find it for this virus. What the <laughs> Not a good joke. Enough about the virus. It was barely a joke. There is no method of infection. Is it a curse? Meg, you've been mentioning computer programs and curses lately. And you call yourself a research scientist. <laughs> Chief! Yeah, I know. In any case, we're done getting your blood sample. If you can walk, go back to your room and wait for the test results. Yes, but the virus... Meg, stay in your room. <laughs> okay, Dad. <laughs> so 
So whatever happened to Timothy? <laughs> it just he just like... vanished. He might show up at the end. Maybe. Excuse me. Oh, it's Lucino. What do you want? Are you here to hold me down again? Don't be so alarmed. I'm sorry about earlier. I realized I phrased it badly. Oh, they are they actually knew? I thought it was just shit translation. I mean, it's... it probably is shit translation because you have to remember in Japanese a lot of words sound like the same. Yeah. So, I guess they tried to come up with an um, an English variant, even though it sounds very weird. And I don't think anyone who's a native English speaker would mix those up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they tried. Alright. It's alright now. You don't seem to be a bad guy either. So you came all the way here to apologize? No, that's not quite it. I actually have something I want to talk to you about. Something? What is it? I'm talking to you about this because you're Robert's girlfriend. I want to talk to you about none other than the CDC. <laughs> It's weird for me to talk to you about this, but I heard a lot about you from Robert. Y you were friends with Robert? Then. Then. You could have said so much earlier. I mean, you told the chief about the reference for him. Tell the chief? You've got to be kidding. That place is always watched over by the chief. I warned you because I'm sure you went in not knowing that. But I can't say it as much there. That's why I ended up that way. Always watching over? It's tapped? He's doing such a thing? Why is this so... <laughs> Probably. Anyway, Robert started to investigate the underground, and he made it to the reference room, then the basement. I got worried because you were doing the same thing, so I came here. I see. Robert did see it then. Yeah. And he started frequenting the basement of this place. He started saying there was something about this lab. He said there were patients underground, and that there was a room beyond them. But he never made it to that back room. And we tried to find a way to go to the back room. Yeah, that's right. There has to be something back there. Only if there was a way to get back there. Only if... There is a way. There is a way. <laughs> it's what we talked about when I last saw Robert. If we drop the electricity of the entire lab, we can disable all security items. Therefore, we can go back there. That doesn't sound like a good idea. <laughs> that seems like a lot. That's a rather harsh method. But are you harsh. sure about that? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I'm security chief after all. I checked the manual to make sure. However, there is one condition. Three minutes after the power goes out, some of the lights and security systems come. We're going to have three minutes to do it. In three minutes? Then... It's no good unless you can get back there within three minutes dropping all power. That's right. If you're still going to do it, I'll drop the power. There's only one chance. If we fail and the chief finds us, I'm sure we... Of course I'm going to go. It's okay, I can drop the power as well. Don't be... Drop the power? Don't be stupid. You can't even get yourself safely out of this room. And if someone was around, you would raise suspicion. Don't worry about the power. But then I would cause you... Don't give me that. Robert died. Do you think I'm not regretting his death? I'm regretting it too. I want to go through what he was investigating until the end. If I was smarter, I would have done it myself. I'm sorry. You're right. But if the chief raises his suspicions, we'll be in trouble too. I'll get the power. Enough of it! What the fuck is this discussion?! I will drop the power. This is my condition for going through with this plan. In any case, you can't leave this room. I'll drop the power tonight. If the power drops, the building will be pitch black. Here's a battery. Don't be so one-sided. No questions asked. So are you going to do it or not? All right, that's fine. All right, so let's sit tight in this room. We'll start tonight in three hours. Looks like you have a flashlight. You're meant to use it with the battery. Everything else, I'm counting on you. We're not actually going to do this bit yet. Oh, wait. Go away. What is it? Um, thanks. And be careful. Stop it. I'm doing it for Robert and for myself. And I have a girlfriend named Kathy, too. I can't do anything too drastic. Kathy. I see. So that was it. You guys are a great couple. I'm counting on her for your sake. No, counting. You said that backwards. Well, whatever. Yeah, I know. I'm going to explain to Kathy now. So I'm counting on you. God, this is so fucking strange. This is very strange. This is the weirdest fucking shit. I don't get it. This is very strange. I'm going to keep the battery in my inventory in case we spawn back here. Because we're going to go back in the ring in a minute. Uh, in case we spawn back here um, without the fucking, um, you know, in the pitch black, I'm going to keep the battery on me. For the real world. Yeah. Excuse me. Beautiful. How many people died from that one? No one. 27 million? <laughs> we have to find healing jelly. By the way, you know the reason I went in all those side rooms? Because the guy said there were tons of items in there. And I was like, there wasn't any! I mean, there might have been. But it was really hard to tell. Yeah. We might have just missed all of them, because, oh, gonna do a spooky dooky facts. What is that? 
Can do spooky dooky facts. A fax. I wonder if it's from Jack. Dear Meg, please read this as I'm reporting to you what I found about Sadako Yamamura. The incident Sadako caused in Japan is all facts. She used her power to copy a curse and a video and you die one week after watching it. Apparently Sadako has such powers from birth. She showed her powers when her mum, Shizuko Yamamura, was caught by the press as a public experiment. Wait. What? <laughs> Perhaps the will to curse humans came to Sadako by watching people mock her mother, but I'm not sure about the details. Sadako's power became a video, then a note, finally into a mutation of the smallpox virus in her body to plant the curse on humans. The mess wait, has calmed wait, down, wait, but was wait, revived wait, by the wait, chief. Wait, wait. Don't worry, bringing havoc to our country. I have a lot to say to the chief, but I will wait until everything is over for that. It makes sense, but don't worry. <laughs> I feel like... I feel like... This is a movie info dump. Yeah, but shouldn't have it been the reverse? Shouldn't the video have been the last part, not the first? I don't know. What's the point of making the video first and then also getting smallpox in your body? I I would fi Mmm, okay. We need to lift Sadako's curse first, but I have no idea how to do that. I apparently need to help the curse propagate, but I can't think of a way how. Your specialty in viruses, so I'm sure you can think of something. Considering that Sadako herself carries a virus yet stays alive, I think you can create a vaccine from Sadako's body. I've no time to say this is it, but I want you to seriously think about the vaccine. Maybe Robert thought of the vaccine. I can think that, but I can't ask him anymore. I might be late now, but don't be reckless. It'll see. I'll see you again, Jack. Ring. Lift Sadako's curse. Vaccine. I'm confused. A public experiment using her mother trapped in a well for 30 years. What is going on? She hates humans this much. It's impossible for someone like me to lift her curse. At least if I had the virus, a vaccine. Even if I can't lift the curse, if it, it's a virus, a vaccine. Okay. I didn't really take on any board any of that information there. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she wants to make a vaccine. Yeah. But instead of saying, if I, if it's a virus, I can make a vaccine for it. She just repeated a vaccine, a vaccine, a vaccine over and over and over again. Use the laptop. Use, you also, you know what I'm a bit confused about? Yeah. If Yes. Why aren't there cameras in her lab? I don't know. Especially as they have cameras in other places. Also, why can faxes not be traced? I, I don't know, actually. I, I don't know much I, about faxes, to be I honest just, with you. It's been such a long time since I, I used a fax machine. I thing. just think it's a bit weird that it's the one room he's super monitoring. It's just that one room. It's just the reference room. It's just the board room, essentially. It's it's the room with the fucking projector, maybe. Nowhere else is important to him, even though if he had just a basic security system in the building, he probably could have, like, caught on to what we were doing a lot faster. Mm hmm. Looks like I don't have much time to play with. I need to wrap this up quickly. I don't think this bit is timed, by the way, but she's just saying that because she's weird. It's a sense of urgency, isn't it? I say as I yawn. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We need to look for shit, right? It's really important we look for fucking supplies because we have nothing. I hate everything about the way the game plays. It's just awful. <laughs> it's just like, play this is so horrible to control. It's unbelievable. Alright. Put the grenade launcher away. Okay? Mm -hmm. Gonna take the assault rifle and hope we find more bullets for it. Everything else I'm just gonna leave. Okay? Mm -hmm. We have no heals and we're only better. That is the biggest problem we have right now. Because I'm guessing that there's, there's gonna be those monkey things in every room now. And they are the size of the room. Which obviously is a big deal. Right, this is where we got knocked down by the gorilla earlier, where Jack was. What happened to that extra- Oh, uh, hello. That's- I've seen her somewhere. I still don't know who this is. Is that supposed to be Sadako? Where are you going? I'm not sure. I think it might be her mum. That's a very youthful hair. Well, style. like, no, but as a little girl or some stupid shit like that. Like, I think it is her mum. I think it's Shizuko. Oh. Uh. I think- I don't know. I think- I just, most, This is me making a hypothetical guess. I guess we should follow her. Let's try going in. And then we immediately die. Yeah. 
Hey, did a girl just come in here? A girl? There's no way a girl would be in here. I mean, I'm a girl. <laughs> no, she's a woman. Well, woman, sorry. I know that, but... She's all right. an old lady. You didn't see her. She's 23. Yeah, she's ancient she's in anime terms. She's over the hill. Yeah, she's pretty much dead in anime <laughs> terms. Before that, now you're back, Meg. Does that mean you found the vaccine? Do I know you? I'm back? Vaccine? What are you talking about? What am I talking about? Meg, what are you talking about? You're asking me what I'm talking about? It's alright now. I have something I want to ask you. Well, do I need to finish the game? Game? Meg, by any chance, was there interference? What are you saying? What is happening? I'm just asking about the gu- Meg, your mission was to obtain the loot program. Contact Sadako and obtain the vaccine. Did you forget that? Loot program? Vaccine? What are you saying? Robert was worried. I guess his bad feelings came true. Robert? What do you know about Robert? Who are you? Where in the world is this? Meg. When you were converted into the loop world using a converter program called Ring, your memory was jumbled up thanks to interference from Yamamura's brain. This is the loop. My memory was jumbled up? I thought I was just playing this game. Using a program called Ring that Robert left for me. That's not true. Ring is not a game. Ring is a converter to enter the loop world. In other words, the past memory of Yamamura. You saw the message we sent you using Ring, right? You will die in seven more days. You saw the message that we wrote. Dead, right? Damn it, we have to talk later. Wait, we will die in seven days. Anyway, your mission is to obtain the vaccine. Hurry back to the loop and contact Sadako. If you get the vaccine, then come back, Meg. My la flashlight ran out mid-cutscene. <laughs> the entire DNA seconds will be transported over here. You got that? Wait, of course I don't get it. You have to explain it till the end. <laughs> they have no time for that here. You should just go back, hurry. What is this? Go back, go back to where? This is so awful. I don't even know where to begin. Baby, what is happening? Baby. I would really like some jellies. <laughs> it's like, I, I don't have the brain power to question what's happening. Wait, are they suggesting that the world we've been in this entire time is fake? Potentially, yeah. I think that's what they just suggested. I think this might be the real world. Oh, this is a terrible world. <laughs> I think we've already what cleared this room out. What the fuck happened? Oh, fuck off. Sorry, my alarm went off. Oh, you're not awake, Bubba. Oh, that's the laptop, but we can't- I don't want to- I, we're not going to go back at the moment, because we've got other stuff to do. Oh, what's this? Sushi? No, napalm bombs. <laughs> that is a big difference. Sushi, napalm bombs, napalm check sushi. Check oh, for fuck's <laughs> sake! No, oh, Jesus! They got a free hit on me. Such bullshit. <laughs> My Discord lagged out, so the first thing I saw was it just a dick. Well, I think we are in real shit now, by the way. Like, real I'm shit. I'm sorry, I didn't expect there to be Well, I mean, I didn't expect- it's not your fault. Like, I didn't expect it either, to be fair. I guess I'm just gonna check all these rooms because we really need fucking ammo. Uh, we need need jam. Sorry. I could go up and check the upper floors, but I feel that's probably suicide. We're going down. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay. You ready for the monkey? Again. Is he right there? Oh no, Shizuko's here instead. It's her. Please wait. I guess we're gonna follow her. Oh, there's no enemies here. Is she guiding me? I really fucking hope we don't have to do anything except get guided through a cutscene here. That would be great. What if she takes us to the main lab? I need to head that way. I'm coming, just wait. This is the area where we got well, wrecked last time, by the way. Well. This is the intensive care area. I guess we'll see. Well, Maybe there's enemies there. here. I can't fucking tell where exactly. Oh, right in front. Of course, it's right in front of the door. Where am I going? Where? I'm just panicking. Where did the bitch go? All right. Okay. It's gonna take a minute. It's gonna take a minute, all right? We're still normal. It's good. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's good. Oh, we went the wrong way, probably. She's probably down that corridor to the right. Okay? Just gotta run past- If he jumps on me, I'm probably dead. I'm gonna be honest, all right? Where is 
is this bitch. I've got to kill this, I think. Where did she go? This is really stressing me out. I'm going to go in here briefly. This is where we killed the boss. Maybe we missed something. Mm. Oh, something's happening. I've been waiting for quite a while now. You're finally here for me. I guess you went in here. Who are you? You're amazingly calm. I am. Shizuko, yeah, it said mum. Shizuko Yamamura. I have no head. Shizuko Yamamura? So you're Shizuko Yamamura? <laughs> yes. Oh, she's an old woman, look. I am, it's like, like she shrunk. I am Shizuko. I reincarnated myself to trying to protect Sadako, though I ended up like this. No, she's supposed to be a kid. Is she? Oh, okay. I, I had mean... things to tell you, <laughs> so I had to mess with a few things so that you come back here. In that world, Sadako interferes, so I can't get my point across all that well. Interfere? Yes, interfere. That is a virtual world created by Sadako. Yeah, this is the real world. No. Oh. A world of the past that you humans created using Sadako's brain in order to survive. That is why my power is extremely weakened. What in the world are you? What is a virtual world? Is Where is the ring? As I said, I am Shizuko Yamamura. The world that you believe in is real is a virtual world that humans made Sadako create. The loop. Anyway, I want just one thing to happen. I want you to save Sadako. This is the fucking Matrix. This <laughs> is the Matrix. It is the Matrix. This storyline is just the Matrix. Me? Save Sadako? I don't know anything. What are you trying to make me do? Do you realize what you're saying? I guess anything I say is useless, but for your objective, the vaccine, there is no other way then to get into contact with Sadako. There is no other way. Our objective? Sorry, but I don't have such a thing. I'm trying to make clear why Robert died. I just want to know what the chief is up to. That's why I'm telling you. To do that, you must get into contact with Sadako. You're just forgetting about the vaccine. You'll remember in due time. If you can be free of Sadako's interference. So you're saying that what I think is reality is actually inside a game? And what I think is a game is reality? I don't know what powers Sadako Yamamura has. So your daughter Sadako Yamamura why can control- Why do you have to say the entire name? <laughs> control even the memories and emotions of humans? I? Why did Robert have to die then? Robert? He's alive in reality in this world. I won't say anything back. You will go back to the loot program, back to Sadako's world, then get into contact with Sadako and obtain the vaccine. That's the only way for Robert to survive. Robert is alive? Save him? I don't want to hear jokes like, he's alive. Robert who is plagued by the virus in this cursed world. To save the world filled with the cursed virus, you must get into contact with Sadako inside the loot program. Inside Sadako's world and get the vaccine that Sadako has. <laughs> that is the only way to survive. Do you understand? No! <laughs> Let me see him. Let me see my Robert. Didn't I tell you? Robert is infected with the virus. There's no way he could be here. You just said he was here. <laughs> Two more days until the cursed victim virus covers the entire world and destroys humanity. You have no time left. Two days? Then there's nothing I can do now. Two days is more than enough. All you need to do is come into contact with Sadako. Is it that simple? You will understand everything when you meet Sadako. To meet Sadako, all you need to do is go down the elevator from right above her room. I'm sorry, but I can't believe what you're saying. But I don't care anymore. I'll do it if it means what Robert will be saved because of it. You're a great help. I can't materialize much longer. I'll give you something good so that you will believe me. Believe the truth. Something good? Yes, something useful. Jelly? When you go back over there, come to me. Come to this room. I'll leave something here that you'll need to go down from above. Oh, that way you'll so, believe me, so right? Key. This place is he he. I'll be waiting. Also, I unlock the door to Sadako's room, although it's only for this world. Before you see Sadako within the loop program, it might be better if you met Sadako in this world. You might understand where Sadako's hatred, where our hatred comes from. He he. Is there any need for the he he? He he. Which you a Michael Jackson impression. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Shizuko. That is a wall. <laughs> right. God, that, that, this is, oh, we're in such shit. Are these, are these lockers? Please be lockers. They're not lockers. <laughs> All right. Okay, where the fuck do we, she said we gotta find Sadako in this world first. <sighs> I, I don't know. I don't know anymore. I feel like this is a living hell that we're just trapped in. It's the Matrix. 
but without all the cool slow-mo. All right. There's got to be something like drawers, anything. This game is so fucking stingy on anything. Either that or we're just missing something that we're meant to be looking in, you know? So, did we ever establish whether the item boxes actually transfer items over? They don't. It's two separate worlds. Two separate worlds. So you have one for this is reality, and then one for the shit ring place. I'm gonna just search everywhere, okay? But I don't think it's gonna help. Oh, no, what the fuck? Why? Baby, why does it torment me? Because it just wants you to die, really. I mean, it doesn't want it doesn't want to be played. It doesn't want to be completed. I mean, it's doing its best to, to really fuck us over, right? <laughs> oh, come on, please, please, please. <laughs> there's nothing in here. This room is huge, and there's nothing. There's nothing, Baby Nomkin. There's nothing. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go in this room. The last room on this floor, this is, by the way. Well, I guess this is... What is this? This is the loop program Shizuka was talking about? Oh, we're getting an FMV, it looks like. I can tell by the hideous loading. Yep. Here's another missing FMV with footage from the movie I can't include. But basically, it's just Sadako having a shit life. And the main character here, whose name I've already forgotten because I'm recording this a few days after I beat the game, uh, basically being like, oh no, her life is sad. Uh, and we'll cut back to her reaction after she's seen how sad Sadako's life is. You really didn't miss much. It was like a slideshow. Is this how you feel about the human race? This is human race. Humans fear persecuted those with extraordinary powers to protect themselves. What? They chose that voice! Still... That doesn't mean that you're right. <laughs> they tricked someone was like, yeah, that's a great idea. Release Sadako. In either case, Robert. I will make sure I save Robert. I need to go and see Sadako, huh? All right, I'll do it. Oh my god. I love the way I had to turn up my volume to, and now it's like severing my ears again. <laughs> okay, so our goal now, right? There's nothing in here, is there? It's just gonna be like shit. Fuck's sake. Our goal now is to build the rocket launcher so we have something to fight some of the final bosses with. But I don't know if we can do it. So here's my proposal, alright? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna see if I can make it back to the save. Mm -hmm. Save and then try and build the rocket launcher, okay? Yeah, that's fine. Just don't save in over any save slots. Same yeah. slot. So what transpired here was nearly 90 minutes of us trying to build a rocket launcher and looking for health and ammo in the ring. Um, before realizing that we can't, or at least we don't know how to, actually bring any of the stuff from this realm into the other realm in order to use it. And I don't think you can at all. So essentially, doing any of this stuff seems to be a complete waste of time as you can't seem to use it on any of the stuff in the other world. So... Yeah, this was just a giant fucking waste of time. We haven't quite realized this at this point, but please forgive us for being a little more stressed and a little more aggressive after this cut because we just spent 90 minutes running around doing fuck all, basically, and we are now heading into the end game. Um, I was able to come back in any case. In any case, Shizuko, who in the world was that? Oh my god, you already know who she is. What? Robert? This? I'm supposed to use this? Which is the game world? I'm starting to completely lose track. 
Robert, I believe that you're still alive. You just, you just gave us a gun, right? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, I guess we should probably equip the bullets that we left in these. Alright, what should I take with me? Well, the bullets. And, I think, at least two jellies, right? Yeah. We only have one battery. I'll leave two in the box. Mm. Okay. I'm gonna save. And here we go, guys. I think we're in the home stretch. Probably find there's at least three hours more. <laughs> Please. Jesus Christ. It's so jank. I hate it. <laughs> okay, as we manage to get out of the ring world, we can save in any slot now, right? Yeah, sure. I like the way you've just given up at this point. <laughs> like, whatever. If we die, we die. That's it. Alright, here we go. I'm scared, genuinely. Like, I, 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 this, is, this has been really difficult. You don't want to see what we had to, what we were doing off camera, just fucking around, guys. Like, it's one of the biggest wastes of time we've ever had in the game. Alright, anyway, let's go. It still doesn't open after all. I wonder if Lucino's alright. The power's been dropped! Use the security restarts. Please wait in your room. Repeat. The power's been dropped. Until the security restarts, please wait in your room. Lucino! He said I had three minutes. I'd be alright if I can get beyond that far door. I can do it. Okay. Why isn't your flashlight turning on? I'm scared. Okay, that's why. I have no idea where we're meant to be going. It's bullshit that the timer keeps going during the loading screens. Yeah, it doesn't keep going uh, via the... Um... Alright. Where the fuck do I go? Like, I could use the staircase here to go down to the basement. I think. Maybe. This might take a few tries, guys. But we'll give it a shot. Three minutes is pretty tight, it seems, to get down to the isolation wall from here. Especially if you keep getting caught on things, dear. Yes. There's a ladder. Go downstairs. Yes. Hang on, where the fuck am I? Oh, I know where to go. I know where to go. I know where to go. This takes us to 1F. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the stairs take us down to B1. Hang on, what? First of all, why did you... Why did you turn your light off? Also, where the fuck am I? I haven't... I... <sighs> oh, okay. The door's behind me. I don't know where this is. Have we ever been here? No. And I'd love to explore, but it's a bit hard right now. We've been in this area once, like really briefly. It's just been like 20 years, I can't remember. Why isn't her light coming on? I, I can't do anything about the darkness, guys, I'm sorry. Because it won't turn on. And I don't know why. I don't know if she ran out of battery in like three seconds. Seems that may be the case. I cannot see anything, babe. I mean, neither can I, so we're in good company. Yeah, but I'm playing the game! <laughs> it's actually brighter on OBS than it is on my screen. I'm looking at OBS to play. <laughs> We're nearly there, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. We got this, we got this, we got this. There we go! It suddenly worked! That was very weird. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> Keep it unlocked. There, it will all be right even if security comes back. We did it. This is it. This is the back room. It's so feared by all. What in the world will come of it? I hope nothing strange out like over there. 
Okay. Comes out like over there. That wasn't even that. That was just you. Yeah, I just had a stroke. <laughs> I'm still worried though. Alright, ignore enemies. We're going to the isolation wards, okay? If I can ever get through any of the doors here. Alright, we're going to check all the isolation wards. Because we've never been here in this world, have we? No, we haven't. We've just been in the shit, the shit ring. We're probably going to get jumped. Uh, what are you? Are you alright? I'm not sure he's alright. Give me a break. What's wrong with you? We're such a bitch! What in the world is he? Wait, you. What happened to you? Okay, well, he's turning into a monster. Bruh. You're kidding. What is this? <laughs> he be oh thick. <laughs> Does this really mean... Does this mean this is really a virtual world? You're telling me to fight? I mean, no, it's just saying... Okay, he's a bit squishier than the others. Alright. What This is this is the only way. <laughs> oh, hi, Shizuko. What the fuck? She just came up a wall. This is alright. You. There's nothing wrong. This is how humans stay alive. Besides, this is a virtual world. You've done nothing wrong. A murderer! Are you saying there's nothing wrong with a murderer? <laughs> I'm telling you, you were, he was no longer human, and this is a virtual world. What is there a problem with? <laughs> you! You don't understand because you're not human. Yes, all of you. You never treated either of us as humans, making a fool of us, using us for your benefit, and when all else failed, called us freaks. How all of you looked at either of us were not the eyes of a human. They were horrible eyes. You humans who continue to kill each other to this day. Are saying murder is wrong after all this time? In either case, this is a virtual world. If you don't get the vaccine soon, many more people will die in the real world. I mean, she does have a point. <laughs> Wait a minute! Meg's just the, one of the worst characters I've ever seen in the game. Like, it's actually impressive. Okay, I've got more bullets. We're gonna loot all these rooms, okay? Okay. Or at least attempt to. Oh, it's so nice to burn a toilet without having someone jump out at me. I mean, they will. There are no enemies in this game anymore, we're fine. Vile. I don't want to go, I don't want to go. It will be five days tomorrow, heading back there again, I don't want to go. Oh, that was insightful. And by insightful I mean it wasn't at all insightful. Any of the cabinets open? Nah, they're all like the weird animation ones. <sighs> That's lovely. This game is like a big tease really on that front, mm. you know? Yeah. I will say it's nice to be in these rooms without having impending death hanging over my head every seven I seconds. I mean, there is going to be impending death. You're, <laughs> you're lowering your guard, but there's going to be enemies most likely. Nah, there won't be any. No more enemies in the game, maybe? Not a single one? There'll be none, right? Well, I mean, it would be known, but I mean, we at least have boss fights coming up. And there probably is going to be mobs now, because the game would not be nice to us like that. Why not? Because it's a bunkin. But why doesn't it love me? I don't know. It hates you enough to not give you the final fucking rocket launcher part. Don't tell- they don't know about this. <laughs> they have- the, the entire saga will have been removed from the video. There's not even a drawer in this room. What the fuck? There's nothing! This is just a troll, I swear. Alright, I'll check. I'll check everywhere else. Alright, this one, it will be a loading screen. Yep. I like how one isn't the loading screen, but one is. It's really weird. Toilets are not worth it in this world. They're not worth it in any of the worlds, actually, now I think about it. Hey! More healing jelly. It's the shit kind, but still. Alright, let's go. Excuse me. We have like six shit ones at the moment, so that's something. Yeah, it's too bad they don't stack. Yeah, we have two in the in the other world. I said the ring, it's not the ring, is it? This is the ring. That's the twist. Oh, this is loop. Loop. Whatever. Which it's so is confusing. a really stupid name for the Matrix. The, the ring is like ridiculously convoluted and complicated as it is. Right, like it's, it's ridiculous. Mm. 
Chanel, number five. Yes. Oh, it's a key. Why is there a child's body here? Emergency power key. Isn't that supposed to be what's her face? Oh yeah. The key to revive the power. If you restore power with that key, you will meet Sadakai. I really don't care which world is reality anymore. Anyway. Anyway, if I use this. If I use this to meet Sadakai, Robert will be saved? Who knows? If you want to see Sadakai, you have to go from upstairs. Go down the elevator from the chief's office. At least I, I think that's the body she's using. I don't know. The chief's office? Robert will be saved then? Everything is up to you, Meg. What did... <laughs> Did you just melt? It's easy for you to say. Becoming a corpse, then coming back to life. <laughs> oh. Yeah, anyway, I'll do what I can, regardless of you and your daughter. What does that mean? Why are you such a bitch? She's horrible. Okay, we have to go to John's office now. Is it John the chief? I can't remember. John the chief. Yeah, a different I think name. John is the chief. Yeah. We need new batteries, by the way. We have none at the moment. Well, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. What the fuck is wrong with this door? This is the one that almost killed us multiple times in the other world. Oh my god, I just want to be done with this game. Normally Minx is the one that's a bumpkin, but I'm being a bumpkin today. We're gonna just check these side rooms in case there's like shit. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be shit. Shit's gonna punch you in the face. I don't think so, actually, but it's pretty normal. Why are you running past cabinets? They're not cabinets, they're computer x -ray No, thing. these are computers. That's a cabinet. Behind you. Where? Go back up. Here? Yep. There's nothing there. See? Well, it is a cabinet. Whether or not it's, it's <laughs> an active cabinet. It may be a cabinet. Remains to be seen. I'll check one more room, then otherwise I'm just going to fucking book it, okay? Because I'm, I'm done <laughs> with this game at this point. Why must you mock me? I'm not mocking you. You do. You mock me all the time. Yeah, there's nothing in these rooms. Fuck this. You didn't check the cabinets. Fuck the cabinets! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was a bit harsh. It's okay, I know you don't love me. I do love you. At least somewhat. Yeah, I'm gonna leave as soon as this is done. What, leave me? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> reasonable. A reasonable <laughs> reaction. This is the save room, I think. That's why I'm going in here. One of these is openable. You can tell by the way the doors are textured slightly. Mm. Well, what a fucking waste of time that was. We're gonna run out of battery. Well, Although the power's gonna come back on right in three minutes. Like, shouldn't it, shouldn't, it, shouldn't it come back on? I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> the power in the lab's been restored. Is this okay? It's back. It's the emergency power, so it's not all that the power goes back. This, well, this is enough. If what Shiriko says is true, then we'll let me go down to that room. In any case, I just can't believe this is a virtual world. Okay, we did it. Oh, so was it not going to let us move the cupboard until there was power for the cupboard to move? I mean, I don't know what cupboard you're talking about, because no one saw that. <laughs> <sighs> no one's buying the illusion, darling. Of, of me being perfect at this game? <laughs> Of you actually knowing where to go anywhere in this game. Uh, listen, this 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 is this this is just awful. I mean, yes, it is awful. Oh, the enemies are here now. Yeah. Goodbye. Such the unknown kings, oh my god, they try so hard. Goodbye. Such a little unknown king, oh my god. <laughs> Such a little gorilla kin. Alright, so it's probably this, right? Maybe. I think it's the other one. In the other room? 
I mean, I would think so, but who knows. I'll try a few more times. Seven hours of this. There's also another th cupboard over there. Oh, no, there you go. Oh, there we go. The trick was here all along. Anyway, I can go downstairs now. This is going to be a disaster. We only have a pistol. Like, we meant to have other stuff. I mean, I'm not allowed to say anything. Yes, you are. Because apparently we know everything there is to know about this game already. I mean, that's true. But other than that, it's broken. What is happening? What is that? Oh, uh... no. Oh, no. All the way out here, they show up assistant. Wasn't that persistent? What the hell? <laughs> I like the way this is the music they chose for like the final area, by the way. Alright, there's gotta be some stuff to loot in here. That looks like one! See the texture? Try the one to this I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It lies. It's just a liar. Well, something's happening anyway. A shit FMV. Oh wow, we just have a pistol. Indeed. I don't know why you and Robert want to have it your own way. Chief? God, they look Just another effort. One more step and the work is over. I'll be the one who controls the virus. Virus? What? What are you talking about, Chief? It's not too bad, even as a prototype. The force of Sadako Yamamura. The force of the curse. Who'd ever imagine how powerful the force of the curse is? The force of Sadako Yamamura? The force of the curse? <gasps> Robert! <laughs> like someone Robert. Else's hand there. Oh no! Was it you? Robert? Yeah. He wanted to know about the virus, so I did him a favor. I gave him that virus to satisfy his curiosity. You gave the virus to him? That was what turned him into such a monster? And that's what caused his death? All because of the virus? Well, don't worry. You'll be with Robert very soon. In 24 hours, you'll be totally overtaken by the test virus. Before you die, you may help me to prove that I've got Sadako's force under my control. You bastard! <laughs> then all of the patients carried in here have been... For our species' sake, for humanity, Sadako's curse will sweep all over the world, transforming it. So why not improve yourself with the virus? The virus promotes us, allows us beings to evolve further. It's not for humanity at all. What you've done is not for us, but only for yourself. You just want control of Sadako's power. Maybe. Maybe you're right. But it doesn't matter anymore. If only I can use this power. Look, this is it, and I'm the only one who rules this force! Oh, this is gonna be bad. We only have a pistol, with barely any ammo. What's happening? I feel like we've missed some key stuff here. No, you can't. You never be the one who control this force. Never ever! <laughs> Kin. John Kin. Alright. We have 110 bullets, which is quite a lot. That is quite a lot. Oh, we know the trick. We know the trick. We know the strat here. Yes. Oh! They rigged it! There we go. Oh. 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 Oh, you probably should have kept shooting him. <laughs> oh my god, he's got such wet feet. Oh. Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's not stuck anymore, probably. Oh 
my god. Oh, careful. I can't move. Yeah, animation lock is really bad in this, in these. Well, gonna do this one again. Oh, maybe not. This music, by the way. I mean, maybe you could see if you can get him stuck on those metal shelves. Die! The guy says he takes about 50 bullets. Oh, so now you're gonna mention the guide? <laughs> no, I, I mean, I'm not using a guide. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I need to heal. <laughs> he's, he's a pussy! What the fuck?! <laughs> he's not doing anything! Well, I still wouldn't want to get animation locked on him. I hate when the camera does that, where it pans a bit too far away. That's it. What a shit boss! <laughs> the music! <laughs> to think that someone, someone like this can exist. Power glory, it's all stupid. It's all stupid, don't you think, Robert? I think you have an unhealthy obsession with Robert. Considering I'm gonna bet you don't even know him in real life. <laughs> okay. Um. I guess look about. All right. We can go into Sadako. We don't fight Sadako immediately, by the way. They'll be like, we we have to go to. Oh my god! Else. Shut up. Why? <laughs> they know now, baby. <laughs> they know. Oh, there's, there was a thing here, right? Of course, of course. Tea cock teased again. I think we did pretty well there, really. I mean, yeah. I hope, yeah. there's a, I hope there's a fucking chair in Sadako's room or a table in her room. You know what I mean? It'd be way easier. Sadako? This is Sadako Yam- STOP SAYING HER FULL NAME, IT'S WEIRD! Oh, she looks great for a corpse. She's dead? She's alive. We are standing Make inside the your... thing. Oh, hello. Shizuko, this is- this is Sadako? Yes, this is my daughter. This is Sadako Yamamura. What is your objective? What are you guys trying to do? Who knows? Only Sadako knows that. Although maybe it's just that she doesn't want humans. You humans to do whatever you please. I'm sure she just hates humans. Just hate? And that's why she cursed humans? Will Sadako be satisfied by killing all humans? Who knows? I don't know about that. I can't possibly start to imagine. Can you imagine it? While still alive for 30 years, while she was still alive. <laughs> 30 years in the darkness. Do you know how it feels to be trapped in darkness? Can you imagine it? I can't understand it. That's why. That's why I have no idea what she wants to do with her objective. What her objective is. I don't know how that feels either, but... But still. But still, that's not an excuse to kill. There's no way she could be given for killing indiscriminately. She's waking up. Waking up? Sadako? Ugh. Ugh. Sadako, can you tell? Do you know who I am? Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> What is it? Sky. Oh wow, it's a clear way to fight her. <laughs> what? Sadako? Where did Sadako go? She said sky. Sky? I think she wants to go someplace where she can see the sky. Finally, now she has her freedom. Someplace where she can see the sky? The yard? Probably higher. She's been wanting to see the sky for quite a while. She went to the roof to see the sky. Probably. You don't have much time left, it seems. What the <laughs> Wait a minute! <laughs> Roof. Okay. You know what the roof is. I know where to get to the roof, yeah. Um, I, I, we need to go and save first, though. Oh god, we're in this shithole. And there's little purple men everywhere. Of course, of course. This door is the bane of my existence! It's- oh god. Careful. I mean, it's really difficult to be careful at this point. That doesn't mean you shouldn't try. I'm try- I am trying. <laughs> what the fuck do you think I'm doing? 
I think you're not doing anything I tell you to do. I'm panicking internally the entire time I'm playing this game. Uh, this game has made me a nervous wreck. I have been dodging enemies for three hours. You have. All right, save point is here. There's probably a purple man in here, but that's fine. We'll kill him. All right? Mm -hmm. I think there's going to be ammo on the roof before the boss fight. So that's good. We'll save again. We don't have to fight John again. Thank fuck. <laughs> One of my biggest fears is having to fight John again. <laughs> that's the true horror of this game, is the fact that it's very easy to die. You probably haven't seen half the fucking deaths that took place in this game in this video, but I could assure you there were plenty. A lot of them self-inflicted too, weren't they? Yeah. Because just like, I can't be asked to restart to load the game. So just, ki just kill me, please. All right, roof. I don't know if we can get to the roof from this stairwell, but I'll try. Otherwise, we'll have to find another. Oh it's, oh, it's probably one from the courtyard, right? Like the, the staircase that we saw before. Maybe. Who knows? I guess we'll find out. As as. Purple man. Mama ghosty, lolly says. I like the way there's still no light in the staircase, by the way. I mean, you need it to be spooky. It's not safe! It's so rude! Oh, there's an enemy. I can't even see the enemy that is attacking me right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the roof, I think. I'm critically injured. Well, heal before you go in. Hang on, the door is broken. Sorry for one final piece of narration, guys, but... The door is not broken, you merely just have to use it multiple times until it opens. So, I proceeded to spend another 25 minutes now wandering around looking for the way to the roof when it was the door that I just tried. I just want to highlight this because it's astonishing. I can use the flashlight here. Oh my god, it opened this time. Yeah. What the fuck? Why would you do- why would you program that? Bubby, I hate everything <laughs> about this game. There's one right there. I'm guessing we're gonna need them. More ammo too. So yeah, the, in fact getting the rocket launcher was a complete waste of time because we can't take it with us! So why did we spend so long looking for the fucking thing? What was the point? I don't know. Because you can only fight the last boss with a pistol! I'm gonna heal to full, okay? Alright, we have one, two, three, four, five heals. Mm -hmm. And the thing. We are saved by an item box if we do need to reload, because and there's two more things in the item box as well, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's see how badly this goes. A bit weird there isn't a save point here, but I'll take it. Anyway, final fight. I don't think what you humans are doing is correct either. But she doesn't have the right to annihilate humanity either. We're gonna have to fight crows, aren't we? She grew up without knowing love. Isn't that your fault? <laughs> Be a better parent! <laughs> I just don't want to see her struggling like this anymore. I sound selfish, but but she's suffering in her own way. Sadako suffers too. So put a bullet in her brain, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a great fucking plan at this point, to be honest with you. I'm fucking sick of this bitch. Please let her rest in peace. Let her release her soul. Let her rest. All right. This is going to be really tough, probably, I'm guessing. Probably. Clock tower three levels. I guess we'll see. Why do you... Let her rest? It's just people killing each other. I don't feel at all intimidated by this Sadako. Oh, oh now I do. Oh, shit. Oh, I couldn't move? Okay, now I can move. What the fuck? I can't aim. The, the aiming button is not working. There we go. It started working now. Oh, 
Well, this is going really well. What kind of bullshit? Hoppity doppity. Sonic the Hedgehog. Crap is this? I feel like I'm fighting a rabbit. I'm, I'm critically injured. Okay, that's. I think that's form one done. There's three forms. <laughs> she, she went down like a fucking balloon. And I've only got the shit heels too. <sighs> now we have to shoot the crows, which we all know works really well. What my what? It's so difficult to aim at these. <laughs> like it's like it's like it's like I'm playing on ice. If I'm honest with you. Oh, we did our little hop of our own. Yeah. Too bad it doesn't help. Okay, one left. <laughs> then we got form two, and then form three. We're not gonna make it this time. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. Okay, form two. Or you could just. Be a nunkin and die. I love the way it didn't look on at all there. Did you see that? Yeah. Like it was just like nah. This is a terrible game. There's something over there, do you see it? Yeah, I do. I mean I knew this game was terrible going into it. <laughs> yeah, delete. <laughs> Imagine if I'd done that. I've gotta take her down. I've gotta take her down in this uh... Final form we get a different gun, I think. Oh god! Okay. okay. Just shoot the birds. I'm just gonna stand still. There's no point in trying to dodge them. Yeah. Seems to actually be working quite well doing this. Yeah. Just keep turning. We've got quite a lot of bullets left, so we're good. Alright, now what? I guess just her last bit. Do I need to do it a few more times? Oh god. <laughs> oh, you might wanna... I'm not limping yet. Is there anything else up here? I mean, I know there's that thing there, but I don't wanna get pinned in the corner. I feel like that's suicide. What the fuck? I thought that was it, but I guess not. Oh. Again? Yeah, just keep going. Game! Okay, now I can't hit any of them. I should probably check my health, right? Yeah. I'm gonna okay. heal once. I've got one heal left, alright? Oh god, I hope we do that! <laughs> We're probably gonna have to do it again, but it's okay. This is nowhere near as fiddly as Clock Tower. I don't know, it's hard to tell. I think that's just part of the roof, by the way, not an item. Yeah. <laughs> I'm fucked. Oh! Wait! Wait! Double tap! Double tap! <sighs> Did we win? Is that the serum? It's the fucking vaccine. Do you think we, human beings, deserve to survive after this? 
To me, to us, the answer is no. <sighs> That's the vaccine. Save the world, <laughs> save humanity. They don't care about anything other than themselves. <gasps> don't you see? I care. Sounds like the truth. <gasps> I'm going. But the next will come. One after another. Every fight to kill each other until everybody's gone. Why did her voice change? The vaccine announced to cure the disease has been put into full mass production. However, some citizens desperate for the vaccine are not waiting for their ration and have started rioting. A large number of fatalities and injured due to such riots have been reported all over the country. Killing until everybody's gone. I hated this game. This I was hated fucking this game. awful. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is unbelievable. By the way, that guide said a napalm gun falls out the sky and you kill her with it. There must be massive differences between the Japanese and English releases of this. There must be. <laughs> what was the point in the rocket launcher if you couldn't take it with you to fight anything? To be fair, yeah. this person has a katana when they fight her. <laughs> so we might have just missed a lot of stuff. Well, whatever. We beat the game. I never have to fucking play this garbage again. <laughs> this is... The, I, like, non-ironically, I enjoyed Ghost Hunter more. I mean, Ghost Rider had better writing. And, and a, gameplay. And a better s story, really. <laughs> this is just... This is just a disaster. This is literally one of the worst horror games I've ever played. It was pretty bad. <laughs> we beat it, though. I'm actually really proud of us. So, uh, have fun editing this. Yeah, and... we've got six hours to edit I have of this now. It's probably like a three-hour video. And you, the viewers, thank you for uh, nominating this. Thank you so much. We loved it. I mean, at least we were actually able to finish it, unlike... Uh, Maniac Mansion. Maniac Mansion. Yeah, that's true. Uh, next up will be Clock Tower PS1. Which will probably be pretty tricky as well. <laughs> but that will be next. And uh, we really appreciate your patience with this one. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want to vote on Long Place, nominate future playthroughs, and just get involved with the community. Consider pledging to our Patreon. There's lots of uh, exclusive content there. More to come in terms of exclusive content. Help us unlock rewards there. And just generally support us in making these Pretty hard to make videos, uh, to be honest with you. This takes a lot of work, especially this editing of this. Like, I'm dreading it because it's going to be like as, almost as bad as Ghost Hunter to edit. Also, you could, I mean, when you sign up, you get access to the Crink's Patreon. Not the Crink's Patreon, the Discord. Yes. That's a thing. We, that we should probably mention more often. Say, say hello. <laughs> uh, you can also watch us live on Twitch, guys. Twitch.tv slash Crink Show. And you can follow us on Twitter at Manganinks and at Chrism Pro. For various nom tings. Um, I'm gonna let this play out in case there's a credit scene, but if it suddenly cuts out here, it means there wasn't one. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, guys. <laughs>